Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here on this fine Friday for a new FTL series. We're starting the R100 today, which stands for Random 100. We'll have 100 runs where we roll two ships and then pick one. Ships that do not currently have a win, which is all of them right now, must be picked. But if we end up uh, rolling two and we have a win on one and not on the other, we'll take that ship. What's up, Pojo Dan Earl? Good to see you, Tabby. Great Rain, CTW. Hey there, Chef, Corpus Cav. What's up, Jake? Reagan Balto, Krajabul, hey there, Corello, Tennyson, Skezla, Opnul, The Voice, good to see you, Night Gecko, Youthful Porpoise, hey there, Ties Forsaken, Akaika, Gindy, Finnykins, Mefo, and all the other cool people, hey there, Brandlore, hey, before I get uh, clicked into our first run here, whatever that may be, uh, let me get caught up with all your support here before we even start, before the stream began. In fact, midday yesterday, Magna Helic, thanks to that $25 donation. We got you added to the name and game list number 14 currently. Uh, Athros, thanks for 52 months. Night Gecko, 26. The Voice with the 5 gifts sub package. Crossable, thanks for 91. Chef, 76. Thanks for 11. And Corpus Cap, thanks for an awesome half year. All right, so uh, we're on a blank save right now. We're going to roll two ships and pick one. Stealth A or Zoltan C? Well, I think I'm going to start with Stealth A on this one. Definitely some difficult starting ships here. Uh, this uh, series is not for win percentage. We'll be tracking that uh, via the save, but not, uh, not going to be a focus win-loss. All right, where was I right now? I was on Magna Helic, our latest name and gamer. Thank you again for that $25 donation while the stream was offline. Gindy225, who's here, awesome, and Tom Pura. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to play to win, but uh, it's not going to be the primary function. I'm not going to be doing any extended training, stuff like that. All right, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine vessel. I'm going to number these, so we got to be a little bit shorter on our names. Run number one of the R100. Oh, that's just too good to pass up. A clean slate. That's where we're at. Brand new. Let's go. If you're new to FTL, it's the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. Uh, we're again doing uh, random rolls for two ships and then picking one. See how it goes. So Stealth A is a pretty good vessel, but it doesn't start with shields, so it is is weakened in uh, particular situations. So overall, I'd rate this ship quite good. All right, let's attack the rebels. Uh, definitely, Scob. I lose on average three of every ten runs. Okay, waiting here real quick. Okay, good. Not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, if this lands on weapons like it is right now, it's gonna be tough. I think I get this beam off in time? No. I did get the weapons down, though. Let's just get them back on. Okay. Okay, our cloak's back up. That's good. Pretty good opening fight here. Let's steal the Civi supplies. It was a dull reward. Awesome. Everybody's full health for now. Want O2 stabilized, and we'll get out of here. What is this? Nearby sun. Okay, I'm actually going to need to duck back here, because going into a sun without shields is really bad. So we'll take the store and go back around. 
O2 recovery first. Hey, battered cake. Thanks for 33 months. Three more for three years. Thanks. Page two, whole laser one, fire beam, mind control. Uh, we're just going to sell titanium system casing here, I think. Actually, I might as well hold on to this until the next store. I'm not going to be buying anything other than shields um, before then. Very unlikely, anyways, to be buying something before a store. All right. Here are they board at. They boarded in weapons. Fair. Lucky for us, if we get a good hit here, it should be fine. All right, so I want to wait for the mini beam to be up here because my my goal is to hit O2 first, so the Manus is repairing weapons. Like so. Okay, good. Manus being on weapons is pretty important. All right, 16 scrap, love it. Yo, Kaga, thanks for that gift as well. Thank you all for that support to start off our new series. Hope you all had a nice couple days off of the stream too. I mean, this is cutting it a little bit close. I might want to just head over here. I think I'm going to do that. This uh, this fight's tempting, but it does limit our pathing later. Uh, scrap the debris. I'd really love to get another crew here, but scrap is king. Always has been, always will be. Okay, they're trying to get away, but they're also boarding. This is going to be a tough one. I could consider cloaking first here, but I think that's dangerous. Big miss. Here's to hoping it hits. Nice. Pretty much every ship so far has had uh, backup shield power. Gonna wait for the repair to finish here. Oh, he died on the floor. That's tough. That's tough. Death Diesel, thanks for 91 months, and Assassin823, thanks for 72. Cheers. Alright, we're actually uh, somewhat close to being able to buy shields. How many jumps do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's just take the jump that reveals the most other beacons. This is the stress here. Doc can try to rescue. Okay. We're going to go one, two, and then probably uh, three, four. But we will have enough scrap to buy shields if we find a store right now, which is great. Also, since we're missing the shield subsystem, it's guaranteed to be at the store if this store is selling systems. So that's nice. Is there any advantage of taking this first? No, is the answer to that.
Um, okay, this one has a, a drone, and it's a beam drone. This is pretty gnarly. All right, so what I got to do here is I got to cloak first. And just hope that we're able to disable everything. Okay, cloaking went down. Uh, okay. I can get a really good hit here, though. So we're going to be at the mercy of the beam drone here for a moment. Okay, missile launcher going down is not bad. Ooh, hit on weapons, really bad. Okay, we're in trouble. fire here yet or not I mean if I if I wait for the mini beam and it goes off I'm able to get uh, the kill on this next volley I think getting the kill on this next volley is too important to pass up okay is there a five hit in here I don't believe there's a five hit okay well we're gonna hope this hits yes all right all right that could have been much worse Spent that then. For how what that ship was and how it went, that went pretty well. Very easily could have been the end of the run there. Alas, we are alive. Alright, this one also has drones. Beam drone again and mini beam. Yikes. Do -do 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 -do. Luckily on this one, if we get uh, just the mini beam off, we're going to get the disable on drone and mini beam. So much less critical than the previous ship as long as weapons don't get hit right away. Beam drone is essentially the worst case scenario for this ship. Oh. Hey, Mr. Pyro, thanks for 37 months. Right? No store back here, huh? That's fair. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. I mean, if there's a store back here, I might even dive for it, but... Well, let's just head down this way. Investigate. Uh, communicate peacefully. No engineer for us. Fair enough, fair enough. I would sell if I could. Improve sensors. <laughs> Beam drone again, yikes. Okay, this one's not so bad either, though. Okay, they hit cloaking, they did not. Let's reveal this here. Drones down. Back to back to back beam drone ships. Wow. That is the real deal right there. Ooh. 
Ooh, I think we're gonna go Uncharted Nebula here. Store, please. Okay, we have a good chance to find store. And if we get a store here, we're pretty much saved, I think. Provided it sells, um, shields. Right, let's avoid any direct fights right now. I'm pretty sure I can take fights here in Sector 2, but at 5-hole, anything could happen. Alright, let's do this the easy way. We're just going to vent them to the med bay. Yo, Mr. Pyre, if I missed you earlier, thanks for 37 months. Thanks, dude. Actually, very likely if there's going to be a second store, it's going to be back here. Um, I go down now to reveal these and then head up. Attack the pirates. Okay, I mean, if this goes off, this is a problem. And it's gonna... This is a tough ship right here. I have to disable the um, shields in order to get past it. Might be running from this. Okay. It went down to one shield. Like, if that didn't take down the pike, we were done. I should have waited, though. GG. GG. An unexpected result on a uh, stealth ship. Just ran into a lot of beam drones there. All right, let's add this one to the list. That's FTL for you. Okay, so this was stealth. Should be old. All right, stealth A one. Did I not bold this. Oh. All right, we're going to random two and go again. So we got Rock C and Manus B. All right, I'm down for Manus B here. Feel free to add some name suggestions for this fine vessel. Going to grab some names for our crew here, and we will kick it off. Oh, Magna Helic again. And Barkelson. No, that's wrong. Sorry, Barkelson. It's Dutch. All right, this is number two. Neon Toad. Very nice. All right, and we're off. This ship also has some early game complications, but not as bad as uh, Stealth A. The main concern here is fire starting in the O2 slash door system before we are able to get a secondary crew. Uh, 
I'm looking like a pretty viable dive here. All right. Well, they're here, and they have three lasers, so a little bit at the mercy of the game. That's all right. Double Manus can take out three human crew for sure. Oh my god, the O2 got hit, but no uh, no fire, thankfully. Uh, fire starting here would have been it. That would be the end of the run. Okay. It's going to run down to O2 and repair it real quick. Okay, well, we don't have any other choice on pathing, so here we go. Normally would not take the stress beacon this early. I can lead you to your destination, sure. All right, storm. Oh, definitely gonna sell Manus Pheromones. Good enough. All right, this quest was supposedly maybe a store as well. like I want one more nebula then? Maybe? Dude, if I'm gonna get the nebula, I should take all three here. Maybe I will. Take quest now. Okay, upgraded reactor by one. Awesome. Free reactor upgrade. Can't complain about that. All right, I'm gonna take all three of these and then head over. Actually, I should take two more nebulas, then head over. No, it is all three. Okay, so they're going to teleport here. They're going to... I want to almost kill this crew. Like as close to death as possible without actually killing. He's got four health. That's definitely it. Okay. Now, when the other crew board is going to be an NG, I'm going to board into uh, their clone bay. Okay, he's in shields. That's perfect, because I can vent him out of the shields at any time. Now I can board and kill this off and then come back. It's also a decent training opportunity. Let's just break the teleporter, and then I will come back to my ship. All right. Hello, Mr. NG.
attack the pirate. Let's see what kind of crew they got over here. They got NG and human. They are very dead. Okay, defense draw mark one sells for 25. That's nice. Really high scrap reward here. The best thing we can get right now would be any crew that's not a manis for O2 repair reasons. His crew in general is great on this ship. Though our rewards so far have been stupendous. All right. I'm not turning in that quest, but I'll gladly take five drone parts. So fair play, Greg. Fair play indeed. All right, I want to be gaking the exit the when it's being overtaken. So I have one, two, three, four chances for the exit. I'm gonna go here. I'm either gonna go one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. It really depends on store opportunities. Hey, the civilian ship. All right, uh, there's no reason not to use a defense drone here to defuse that flak a little bit. I know there's one crew in piloting, one in engines, so I'll just start in engines here. Double engineer. All right, then. Thankfully, the flak and the heavy laser don't time out very well together, at least not at the start. Okay. Yo, Healing Burst is not a small piece of equipment, man. Pretty cool on a boarding ship. Can instantly heal our crew while they're boarding. Pretty neat. Also sells for 20. So we're at 145 scrap this sector so far. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, this also allows us to heal the O2 if something goes wrong. So this kind of functions like a third crew member in some ways. Fair point. All right, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then almost certainly we're gonna dive. Intervene and defend the outpost. Okay, I can use the heal bomb here as well. Um, what's the cooldown on heal bomb, though? All right, it's going to be a long uh, fight for us. Let's see, this is coming into piloting, it looks like. I'm going to let that go. Yep. Right, step one here is to let them expend all of their missiles. Uh, step two is going to be boarding into the piloting and then sending the boarding drone out. Step three will be heal bombing our crew, and if we end up missing, it's going to be real bad, but uh, it's very, very likely here that I'm able to punch down the piloting to get a guaranteed hit on the manis. This is a risk I'm willing to take. All right, heal burst is 18 seconds, so the crew dies oxygen deprivation before uh, the heal bomb would recharge a second time. Bear. Probably just wait for the um, the punch out then. Extremely unlikely, but not impossible that the enemy ship has level three piloting here. Ooh, this ion just keeps narrowly missing the drone. Okay, that's fine. Certainly don't mind trading some whole damage for a double reward here. Not in the slightest. Okay, now we're set up. Defense drones down now. Uh, we're going to teleport into piloting, and now I'm going to send the boarding drone out. The reason we want to teleport first here is if the drone lands in piloting, it has no door to walk back and forth and to achieve more damage. So we need to have it here, so if the boarding drone lands in piloting now, it gets shoved to the side. 
Okay, didn't land there. Okay. And the heal bomb allows us to get back. Very fortunate uh, getting the heal bomb before this event because if we didn't have that, we'd have to uh, gamble on the boarding drone landing in the correct location, and then on top of that, we'd also have to uh, lose out on a double reward if it didn't. What a good Kittermans. I could reboard on this ship to get a uh, slightly faster kill, but I'd have to use another heal bomb, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, he is getting all grown up. He's 13 pounds now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He went from being real small to pretty big. Yeah, not even Chong, just a big cat. Just a big cat. Just a bigger kidder. Are we in Sector 1? We are, okay. We're doing great right now for Scrap. Alright, 10 and 14. Nice rewards. I mean, 124 Scrap is not a small amount. I'm going to stick with it. I don't need to upgrade teleporter because I have the heal bomb, though I could technically get... Uh, three rewards from two teleporter. Technically. All right, double human, no problem. Just doing a quick check there because this is double mana, so I don't want to board in right away. Or I'd probably use a boarding drone to facilitate uh, easier crew kill. Mm -hmm. All 
right, three fuel, 21 scrap, doing awesome for scrap here in sector one. Wow. Did I sell the pheromones? I did. We will honor you with our most eviscerating arsenal, they say. All right. Um, I mean, this is a ship for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and send out a boarding drone here. I'm not sure on the uh, Mount of Mantis that are happening. So it's going to land there. Cool. I'm going to board uh, engines. Only two crewer then? Only a two crewer. Let's just board shields then. Oh, it's a three crewer. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that then. Yo, -ho. now that the ship has been emptied to hostile, you search would eventually find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. What's up, Starger? That's nice. All right, Stargate's getting a name off the name and game list here. That's going to be Sloop Rock. Very nice find. Yeah, it's been good. So we did start with a loss on this one, though not unexpected. We lose runs FTL all the time. Uh, the purpose of this 100 run set will not be for win loss, though. I always play to win. But we also play for fun. All right, storage vessel for military goods. Do want. Okay, we have combat drone, heavy laser. I mean, this ship can definitely hit us. It's concerning. It's not likely to hit us, but it's still a possibility. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send out the boarding drone, and if it looks like it's gonna land in piloting, I will board piloting. It's not. It's gonna land on the weapon side. Ooh, maybe not. Oh no. Oh dude, what have I done? <laughs> I done goofed. I done goofed. Let's go over here. That's a toughie. Okay, at least we save one manus. Dang, that's tough. Hey, Gritty Loops, thanks for 18 months. Much appreciation. You know, maybe once the boarding drone was sent out, it already, um, it already had decided what position it was going to be in. So I need to board before I send the boarding drone out. Which I think I already knew. I just forgot. That would have been much more critical if we had not found the other crew yet, but we have. Okay. Still gonna take these jumps. If I can't upgrade at one of them, I'm probably gonna go into four engines as well. Just as a start. Okay, do have med bay. Beam drone missile launcher. Let's go here. 
I have to run him out of missiles before I uh, get the boarding drone in and start. It's going to be a tricky one to get a kill on. What kind of crew do they have? It's going to be all humans, right? Yes. the boarding drone lands and shields, I think. Some other places could be alright too, but we need to get at least one crew killed off on this first boarding set. Okay. Oh, they still have missiles. Two being breached. That's actually quite interesting. Okay. Looks to me like they're going to be going to the med bay around the same time here, which is great. Means we're definitely getting a kill here. Some kind. Just come back. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna get him in the shields now, I think. Or maybe not. to send out another boarding drone. Maybe? Yeah, let's just go ahead and send this out. We'll probably also get an O2 kill here somehow, but, you know, I, I could, I'm concerned about that. Okay, shield shield here. Good. Alright, I'm gonna put the human in here, and then we're gonna put the manis in the med bay. I know they have level 1 med bay, so this is good. I'm gonna depower this for a minute so he doesn't go to the med bay. Yo, Gritty Loops, thanks for the year and a half and L Super Pro. Thanks for 21 months. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get to four engines here. All right. Forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. So they're going to try to run, but they're also going to board. So let's let them on. And then they're in the O2. That's fine. I'm going to board over now to weapons. I'm going to start venting this out.
I'm honestly tempted to go three shields here. I think I might before the dive, since we lost that one crew. There's a lot of stuff I would like to buy in stores, though, mainly hacking. Um, if I buy three shields right now, I still have 60 scrap after selling the defense drone. I don't know. I think I'm just going to dive, and then uh, we'll upgrade next sector. Let our O2 get all the way back to 100 before we take this dive jump. Eighty five is good enough. All right, sector one died. Been a good sector one, other than my mistake losing a crew. It's been uh, quite nice. Okay, defense drone, let's go. Okay, cool. The missile launchers are scary here, but uh, I think we're all right. It's a little unfortunate, but fine. Let's go here and then swap. Nice, got them both. Okay, that's bad. Nice, this defense drone is slaying right now. Love it. Okay, as long as I have one engine, I'm gonna go back on piloting. Okay, that is fair. Okay, they're out of missiles now. This drone absolutely saved us here. Absolutely. Looks like we're gonna eat a third ASB, but it shouldn't be any more than that. It hasn't been a good dive, but really not that bad. What would have made this dive bad is if the weapon system was complemented enough to hurt us uh, on top of these ASBs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> People have the most interesting reactions to small things happening bad. Some of you all are pretty silly. Yeah, ASB is guaranteed breach and three damage. The good sector one uh, definitely had some problems, but otherwise really good. We got a whole bunch of scrap that sector. We did find a crew to replace the one we lost, and we got heal bomb, which has functioned a lot like a third group. Yo, Mad God Rando, thanks for 108 months. One oh eight, legendary. Hey, Mag the Lion, thanks for seven months. Much appreciation. Thank you, thank you. Let's go up first, and then we'll come down. Just want to give ourselves the best chance at store, because store is where this gets transformed into stuff. Less incompetent captain, I can try to be that. Hey, store and a quest. Here we go. Here we go. Like, honestly, drone recovery arm's pretty good here, um, as is small bomb, because small bomb gives us a way to damage ships. 
and right now we don't really have that. Well, not damage shifts, but allows us to disable a med bay or clone bay if we run into a difficult vessel. I think with the boarding drone we can accomplish most things in Sector 2, so I'm going to choose not to buy small bomb. Drone recovery arm, on the other hand, lets me freely use defense drone every time and pick up hacking later, so I'm going to buy this as a future investment. Let's repair to 23. Let's buy two fuel. Looks good. Oh, I'm going to deliver the car. Would you like to join my crew? Hey, replacement Manti. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename this our newest naming gamer here. Uh, again, Magna Helic. There it is. It's just like, just like it never happened. Just like I never lost that crew. Cool. All right, looking at this here, if I want to get these nebulas, I need to do so now and then come back down this way. Yeah, you can see a full list of mods using the exclamation mod or mods in chat. Uh, just to verbalize the mods we're currently using for FTL, we're using the Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator, which is these lines uh, in, on the map here and high res backgrounds version two. So I'm going to go one, this is two, this is three, four, and then we'll swing over. All right, on this ship, uh, the boarding drone is a cinch. We don't have to board with our own crew here. Oh, nice. That breach on piloting means he's going to walk over there. I guess I could have not even sent out the boarding drone, but I did. But I did. Yo ho, Magdalene. Thanks for that incredibly generous 50 gift sub package. Happy February to you as well. Thanks, Mag. All those recipients, please enjoy the Emos community and ad free view. And so, very happy to have you. Thanks for that extreme generosity. All right, so this is going to be two or three humans. So, I'm just going to board with all three of my crew. I'll also load up the heal bomb as a contingency if they have an anti personnel drone, but they do not. But they do not. Yo, Dark Phoenix, it's for 57 months, almost five years indeed. The time does fly. Is there any reason not to take this jump? The answer that's no. Might as well. Uh, manually search. Okay, we found a weapon. Great. We could have lost another crew there, which would have been painful, but not critical. Boy, it's getting windy outside right now. Anti-personnel drone. How about second store here, please? Okay, beam drone, heavy laser, and uh, guess what? We learned our lesson last time. We're not going to lose a crew now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to board, and then we're going to send out the boarding drone after the heal bomb gets about halfway through here. So by boarding piloting, we guarantee that the boarding drone is going to land in an advantageous position. If it ends up landing on boarding, it will, or on uh, piloting, it will get shoved to one side. Just like that. So if we weren't boarded here on the enemy ship, then this would fight would have been forfeit.
Oh, we have a new toy? Okay, hold on. It's gonna be an extended fight anyways, so... New toy for baby kidders. Let's pull our crew back, that'd be nice. Heal Bomb does not heal enemies. Yo, Baka Ona, triple seven. Thanks for 20 months. Much appreciation. All right, enjoy this kidders real quick. Just going to stand up and refill my water real quick. Use the restroom. Stretch my legs momentarily uh, while this fight finishes out. Halo Jack, thanks for 16 months during the break. Thanks for dropping that on my PC, Daisy. Thanks. What a good kidders. What a good kidders we got. No store, huh? but we do have this command right here. Okay, quest marker added the next sector. Awesome. No store yet. That is my sleeves, at least. So we're probably going to go one, two, three, four, dive. I want to make sure I get the store back here if it is... You know, Torsten, I don't actually know the answer to that question. Maybe. Alright, this ship can technically hit us. So, do we board right away? No, let's use the boarding drone. It's not going to hit us. I'm going to need to manage my shields here. It'd be great if this lands in... Uh, weapons. Okay. Well, I mean, I do know if... Yikes. Dropping shields, bringing them back online. We're letting the ions through the shielding here, because a triple fire of the ions can take our shields down. I'm just not going to board here. 
He's gonna go to weapons next, so as long as I can avoid avoid damage till then, it'll be good. Also, as long as they don't triple fire, we're generally fine. Yo, Kuma Huna, thanks for 26 months. Thank you, thank you. We'll do. Okay, good, we dodge one there. We're in the clear. I should definitely buy a weapon power soon, so if we run into a Zoltan ship, I can get past the shields. Yo, T-Mag, thanks for 17 months. Thanks so much for that continuation. here next i'm just gonna commit to diving i don't know now they say that out loud i'm not so sure there's a store i definitely want to dive well, let's just commit to it here in sector two i only hesitate because our last dive didn't go very well but it we survived it sector one sector two dive are going to be very similar situations usually not unreasonable for us to get a crew kill on the dive ship either with three boarding crew depending on the situation if there is no store i'll probably just choose to go three shields here and uh defense up okay we're gonna leave the station because it's still a reward if we hack here and we don't have the hacking system to guarantee it Oh, okay. I guess I can go here and reveal this. So I can go one, I can go, instead of going one, two, three, I can go one. And then if it's a store, I know I want to dive. And if it's not a store, I can go to the exit and then I can decide if I'm going to dive here or not. Yes, this gives more information. Um, I will sell five missiles for 15 here. I know that brings us down to one missile, but I don't anticipate being in a missile setup. Oh, man. Should I spend scrap on a crew member here? 38 scrap for a rock is not bad at all. Maybe 39 for an engineer is actually better here, though. They're both discounted. Rock costs 55 in the store. NG costs 50. What's chat think about uh, buying crew here? Generally hesitant to buy crew early, but this seems like a pretty fair trade. I think I'm going to take the NG over the rock. NG has a lot more blue options and just better at maintaining the ship. All right, it is V Agent Zero. Okay, there is no store here. I'm not going to dive for one jump. Civilian sector sounds awesome. Uncharted Nebula, not bad either, but let's go civvies. Okay, I think at the very least, well, store sounds good. I would say upgrade to the pike beam just so we can stop a Zoltan ship. Oh, man, look at this right here. Holy guacamole. Could legitimately transition to that entire weapon system if I wanted to. That's pretty nuts. 
What a store indeed. All right, let's just say we're not going to be getting everything here because, well, reasons. Backup battery, almost certainly, just so we have a higher chance of hacking later. We haven't invested in weapons yet either, so uh, this is tough. I feel like the pike beam that I'm holding onto right now can function later on in the run if I am able to uh, get hacking. But if I don't, then just lasers is better. I think at a minimum we're buying burst laser too. I feel like heal bomb can probably get sold now too, and boarding drone if I get more weapons. Uh, also a consideration here, I need to purchase the weapon power to make these work. All right, I'm gonna sell the heal bomb. I'm gonna buy Burst Laser 1 and Backup Battery. One scrap shy on buying that. Is this worth selling Boarding Drone yet? I don't know about that. What sector is this? Three. Okay, um, I'm just gonna buy one repair and two fuel here, and then I'm just gonna roll out. My next 40, my next, uh, when I get nine more scrap, I am definitely going to upgrade weapons. Okay, allied ASB, awesome. All right, this being an allied ASB, it's simply a waiting game. Uh, we're just going to wait this out. Let the ASB do its work. Very fortunate they cannot damage us either. Blammo! Okay, engines going down means that in three ASBs they're dead guaranteed. Awesome. more is just going nuts over these new toys. Oh my god. What a cute little baby kitty. You want to not play around the wires with that? That'd be great though, bud. Okay, you're not going to do that? That's fine. That's fine. Yo, -ho, you contact the station once the rebel ship is destroyed. The lone survivor respawns. This base is no longer safe. Let me join your crew and I'll have the station's drone patch up your ship. Seven hull points repaired. Liam the fight in Manus and a nice double reward. Sick. All right, Liam needs a new name here, which is going to be uh, Tactical Platypus. Close enough. 
Three mantis and a human and an engineer. More, buddy. You gotta, you gotta calm down with that, man. I'm telling you right now, you gotta calm down. Just chill. Just a little bit, bud. Okay, at least I can fire a weapon now. That's good. All right, looking at this, uh, this setup here, looks like I can include one nebula if I was going to. There's no problem including two here. Or I can just skip the nebulas altogether. I think skipping the nebulas altogether is uh, pretty worthwhile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One sec, I gotta move this toy for my cat. He's like moving it closer to the wires like a cat would. What a surprise. The toy was no longer as exciting when it was not near important wires. Hey, line freeze. Thanks for three months. Not a cat. Thanks for 20. Appreciate that prime continuation. Cheers. Two, three, four. We need to include this jump here. Okay. All right, I'm glad I didn't drop the boarding drone now. Okay, piloting is actually a pretty good spot here. Let's move some crew around so that we have uh, systems protected. You know, I'm probably actually best off going for shields here. Double fire there. Let's just send the NG and the human down. That's bananas. One, two, three, four, five before the exit. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Exit. And then these two. Let's go here just to so get a little more information on the bottom path. Get a choice between these two rather than the guaranteed empty here. We'll possibly reveal if there's a store in our near future. That'd be nice. Missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scans quickly reveal a pirate ship with pirate markings and an unknown vessel. The pirate hails you. Damn it, we were ex weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you could profit. All right, this ship has cloaking and three shields in Sector 3. Damn. We're still going to be a hero because I have four boarding crew. All right, hero time. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna destroy the ship and salvage it here. Okay, nice. God, I didn't even know you could get uh, specific equipment rewards from that destroy event. That's cool. Very cool. How is the uh, gain to voice balance sounding for everybody? I didn't change anything, but again, I own five cats, so I'll always throw out a check there and also listen, <laughs> listen to past broadcasts very regularly. Everything looks good on my end, just checking. All right, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Wanna get as much in here before the exit as possible. Civilian ship. Okay. So this ship's actually uh, pretty scary. I don't think I'm going to board here. Let's go here and here and here. Uh, I'm going to send out a boarding drone right away. Let's see where it lands. I'm also going to load up first laser two. Okay, engines is not a bad hit. Gonna have to alternate here though. I think I want to hit this. Okay, no. I might be running from this. It's the truth. Okay, okay, much better. That going down is a very major deal at the moment. I usually don't swap Medbay or Clone Bay Taurus, and I don't think it's a bad strategy, but uh, I look at it as buying something you already have. There's a lot of consideration for um, swapping Medbay for Clone Bay when you're doing runs that don't use pause, I think. I think it's a really good idea then, because Clone Bay is much safer in scramble situations. And there's definitely a good value in... Um, Definitely good value in Clone Bay on this ship, for sure. I guess, in short, uh, not my style, but also not a bad play by any means. They made a hasty retreat. Can't blame them. Just glad we were able to kill that ship. Ooh, okay. Store time. All right, maybe hacking here. If not, I just upgrade weapons. Getting to five lasers would be pretty huge. Long range scanners, also something I'm very interested in buying. Okay. Let's just go long range scanners and then... Uh, weapons okay now we have five lasers or three lasers plus bike beam which is a much safer position
My cat's a national treasure. National treasure, Daisy. What a kidders. Well, that was a terrible toss. I'm sorry, Daisy. Sorry. Dread Pirate Tuco. We'll see about that. We'll see about that whole dying thing he wants to do. System repair drone, cool equipment. goodness mag the lion with the additional 50 gift sub packs 100 gift subs today thank you so much mag the lion really appreciate that huge generosity absolute legend thank you again to all those recipients today just please enjoy the emos community and ad free viewing very happy to have you I have enough for hacking right now. I'm going to take the store instead of the guaranteed good or neutral exit. We also have equipment to sell off, so this is this is it. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to sell system repair, and I believe I'm going to buy burst laser too. I don't have uh, hacking yet, which is kind of the reason I'm going to do this, but uh, this gets us to eight projectiles on a pretty fast timer so even if we don't pick up hacking that's still you know it's, it's plausible to win with but the issue right now is it's very expensive this is 80 percent of the cost of buying three shields and we already have a functioning system with the pike beam uh the more i the more i think about this the more i think i might be not buying burst laser 2 which is often the case in hard mode uh, at this current moment, bringing the Pike Beam online is just as effective as getting the Burst Laser 2. Because I'd have to buy the Burst Laser 2 and then spend an additional 125 scrap to bring it online. That's a stretch. You cats right now need to get it together, okay? Oh my god, these cats. One moment. Austria, thanks for eight months. Sirius, thanks for 21. And Youthful Porpoise, thanks for 18. Cats being an absolute national treasure today. Absolute. I think it's also very likely on the dive ship and be able to just board them and kill them off. Seems almost certain, in fact. Probably okay to drop boarding drone right now, but what am I going to buy for boarding drone? Not much. Combat drone could be useful. 
this would be a moment I would consider scrap recovery arm, but since we have only one augmentation slot left, I'm less likely to do that. Let's save for the next door because hacking is much better than buying burst laser too. Okay, four is kind of the rebel fleet will try to run from us. Unfortunately for them, we have four borders, so there's no way they're getting away in time. Yeah, you did, Mag the Lion. Big time overloaded. Uh, Nighthawk, thanks for 63 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Yo, Skezla with the 1500 bits as well as the Bonanza style day. Thank you so much, everybody. It's my continued pleasure to be here to entertain you. Fully entrenched in year 11 here on Twitch. Wow. As I always do say, and very much mean, whether it's your first time tuning in today or uh, you've been watching since day one of the two-year livestream challenges, thanks so much for sharing this time and place. Awesome to enjoy some video games with y'all. What a game FTL is. Tempting, but no. We have enough crew for right now. Very likely we find more crew in our journey here. All right, I think for this upcoming dive, uh, I'm definitely going to be boarding. So let's just leave it at that. I'm just going to try to save enough scrap to pick up hacking at the next store, or maybe even cloaking with our current weapon setup, but more likely hacking is the one we want. Okay, so we're going to load up a uh, defense drone, and then we're going to load up teleporter 02. Um, never mind on that. Only three engines for the moment. You know, I can toggle the defense drone on line when the missile fires. Anybody below 45 health here? 41, 38, 43, 51. So these three go to the med bay. Yeah, awesome. We made it out before the ASB even arrived. That was sick. Asteroid field. It's fine. Okay, this sector layout is great. We're going to be able to see pretty much every jump here, I think. Let's buy one more power bar. Cool.
All right. So I do have five lasers here. Should be pretty good. Let's uh, roll our crew out to systems so we can fire a little faster, recharge our shields faster as well. Uh, do I want to use a boarding drone? You know what? Why not? Let's, let's throw one out here, see where it lands. I got lots of drone parts. Okay, that's a pretty good spot for it. Nice. Okay, that's good. It's going to be down already. There we go. Definitely not an easy fight. Alright, what kind of is this? Another asteroid field? Okay. I can't upgrade in between uh, hazard jumps, so here we go. Yo, Magdalene, thanks for another two gift subs. Absolute legend. 102 today, 442 in total. Cheers. Do I use boarding drone here? You know what? Why not? I got a lot of parts. It worked out good last time. Okay, in weapons, that's beautiful because it's breached. So now when I damage weapons, they will not come back online. If this boarding drone only causes a breach, it's still probably worth this here. Okay, they went out. Defense drone, maybe will work. Nice. I also should have moved to my systems, but I did not. Yes, thank you so much again, Magthalion. Your generosity is legendary. Glad that went through. Right, nice. I'm gonna skip the distress beacon here. We have a lot of good stuff for distress beacons, but even then. Two fuel for five missiles. Um, I'm gonna take this because it brings me above 15 missiles. We get the missile cell event. Give this an option. I'm gonna buy level two piloting right now so that I can manually search the wreckage if that is the event here. There it is. Anti-ship fire drone. Well, fire drone and boarding uh, accomplish an extremely similar effect, so I'm not going to be using fire drone, but I can sell it for 30, which is uh, amazing. It's like an extra high scrap reward at this sector. Yeah, all right. 
This ship could eventually hit us, though it will likely not. And I mean, if I board here, they're done. So, rather than trying to do anything with a bunch of different... Ooh, that's not good. A crew manipulation. What I want to do here is... Alright, I'm going to send the human and the engineer over to repair here. Go here and here. Going to board shields, and then when they go to the med bay, I'm just going to hit the med bay. Keep it simple. Got him. Pulsar. I hesitate, but I'm going to take it anyways. Uh, okay, what do I want to buy now? I think I'm just going to straight up buy three shields. We are going into a Pulsar. I don't quite have the power consumption for this, but going into a Pulsar just means that on the first uh, pulse of the Pulsar, we will not lose shield integrity completely. Which is a good deal in my book. Defense drone state online, good. Nice. That could have been much worse. In fact, that would have been much worse without shields. We made a good choice. Hey, Siberian. Thanks so much for five months of support. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you. All right, we're completely free of ion damage. That's our cue to jump. Store right now? Why not? Is there any way I should delay this store? I can go one, two, three beforehand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jumps for the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's go ahead and add some jumps. And I can even go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. This jump is the connector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, these two before the store. Search for the ship. Five damage to our hull. Fair enough. Well, this is fine. Go one, two, three, four. Five, six. I am going to take the two fights before the store, because why not have the most scrap available at the store? Certainly incurring a little bit of risk here. We're only at 11 hull, but uh, I think our setup is extremely competent. Send boarding drone out again. Let's see where it lands. Alright. Fair enough. Definitely need to hit weapons here. If I hit either weapon, we're good. If I hit no weapons, we're not good. 
safe. Dude, this is our third Dread Pirate Tuco of End of the Run. A lot of Dread Pirate Tucos in this universe. Do they even fire the missile launcher here? They do. They do. Yo, what's up, Elizabeth the Shield Mantis? We got a four Mantis boarding team now. That is good. Time for a little rotation. We do lose some training on this, but I want the engineer able to roam, and I'll put the human on piloting. Cell fire drone. I'm gonna keep the boarding drone. It's just been consistently performing. And I'm just gonna buy a repair here. I'm gonna continue saving for hacking. Uh, yeah. Cloaking's also good, but I don't have a weapon system that works. I had to buy cloaking and charge laser too to have a functional system. Hacking is just better here. Let's just roll out. You know, with having two fights coming up here, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase weapon power, though. No, not yet. Not yet. Soon. And another one. Not gonna toggle into the uh, throne here. Gonna try hit weapons. Okay, it's a start. Okay, so I need to repair this quickly. Good, okay. Not so worried now. This side of the ship is very weak versus missiles, even with the defense drone on this ship. Just how it goes.
Spicy back here. We'll never surrender one of our crew to Schlavers. Except that one time and that other time we're not going to talk about. Actually, I'm going to go down to shields here. I want to fire at weapons. Okay, we got another Mantis here. We're a bit overloaded on Mantis, and that's fine. June is going to be uh, Air Gear. Nice name for a Manus. Having somebody on weapons is nice. I will admit. Oh, oh man. I'm not, I'm not going to double dive for a store. I wish. Let's repair five here. I mean, I guess I could. I don't think I don't think diving is actually that bad. But being only sector four, we have lots of other store opportunities coming up. We're ahead of curve on defense by a lot. Zoltan controlled. Okay. Okay. Store. Love it. Show me hacking, please. Boom. There it is. All right. Now that we have hacking, we are in a better spot uh, as far as killing the flagship. And also, Burst Laser 2 again. The question is, is Burst Laser 2 functionally 80 scrap better than Pike Beam? And I believe the answer to that is no. It is not 80 scrap better than Pike Beam. A whole repair drone, on the other hand, could be a monster pickup here. Let's go ahead and now sell the boarding drone. Boarding drone is MVP of this run. I'm gonna buy whole repair here, and then my next 125 scrap is gonna go into purchasing the Pike Beam online. I also now recognize I should have taken these jumps first, but uh yeah, no matter where you go, there you are, and it turns out we're right here at the moment. Go one, two, just go one, two. Great. All right, great opportunity for us just to get a, an easy kill here. Let's just drop this real quick. Load up the defense drone. So this whole repair is going to be the payoff we're getting for having the um, drone recovery arm so early. We now get to utilize those parts. Dead? Not dead. Also, we can tell we're just a little bit shy on power right now. Let's just buy two power bars. I'll get weapons online shortly. Maybe even a hacking two here before weapons is smart. Oh yeah, dude, I like this sector. Keep them coming. I'm gonna buy two hacking. Two hacking in the worst case scenario gives a, another layer of safety. And really, a lot of FTL is protecting yourself from the worst case scenario. 
All right, I'm gonna let them board first here. Okay, they boarded indoors. That's pretty rude. It's nice, I guess. prisoners what is that achievement that is kill the crew of 20 ships by sector 6 in the Manus cruiser nice I might actually go here and then come back up this way. Seems like getting to the exit here is easier, though. So let's go up this way and then come back down. Yeah. Intruders on board. What kind of intruders? We have Zoltan intruders. Yuck. Yuck. Okay, at least this ship doesn't have a clone bay. Check this out real quick. Okay, it's only two crew as well. Awesome. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Every time a Zoltan crew dies, they do 15 damage to every crew in the room. So basically, if I'm not careful here, I could lose a crew to the teleporting bombs. but we're going to be careful. Looking great. Roll out. Okay, Energy Hacker is a class of ship that is pretty nasty to board. So the reason it has four four Zoltans, so same deal that if we kill the crew, that is that is sixty crew damage to every crew in the room. At the very least, our opener here has to be uh, hitting weapons, and I'm going to hack on this. Okay, all of those hitting was really fortunate. Please hit. Okay, good. Double fire here. Awesome. Okay, this could help us out right away. Go take a look at what's going on over there. 
Okay, if somebody explodes here, which it looks like they're going to, we're just going to go into uh, Clone Bay now. Very good, Clone Bay's down. Weapons are a burning. All right, I'm just going to board into the Clone Bay now. Got him. Hermes missile sells for 22. Hey, Rectangular, Laura, thanks for 104 months. 104. Dude, Smody, if I missed you earlier, thanks for 98. I don't think I did, but I'm paranoid now. Two more for that 100 club, Smody. Okay, 125. I'm going to buy the weapon power now, so we have the pike beam up as well. Awesome. Alright, this is our first ship that really has mind control versus us. That's tough. Okay, I'm going to run out of the room here. I'm going to run this mantis down. I'm going to run in and over. I'm going to back a battery. And we're not going to kill off our own crew here. We're instead going to board shields. They'll pull all of their crew towards us, including the pilot. Seems like I really don't need to uh, hack... almost dead okay who's at 15 get 22 here 52 is 62 okay nobody's dying to the Zoltan we're good another Hermes missile back-to-back -back Hermes missile rewards spectacular Okay, so are we able to get all three of these nebulas? It appears so, because this is over the halfway point. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five and a half for the exit. So this is one and a half, two, three, four, five, something like that. Cool. Even though all of these nebulas show as empty, I'm still going to take them because they're only half fleet pursuit and we don't have any other uh, decent prospects. An additional option here would be to take only one nebula and then go down this way, which I might take because they're not showing and we do have options for stores here to sell off these Hermes missiles and other various goods. Okay, we know we have a store at the end. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five exits. Okay, so this is the Great Eye event, and the Great Eye event is a chance to lose crew, a chance for fight, chance for healing burst, and a chance for... Does this ship have four crew or not? Nah? I feel like this is a two-crewer. Even if this has more than two crew, the reason we can get away with this is they have a med bay. So by boarding, if they have more than two crew, which they don't, uh, two of them would go to the med bay. We good. Yo, Deadlock50, thanks for 10 wonderful months. Thanks so much, dude. So many subs and resubs today. Just thank you all for sharing at this time and place. OK. 
Okay, it's got to be one, two, three, four, then. Okay, I'm just going to board shields to start here. I'm going to load up uh, defense drone temporarily. Okay, okay. Well, I will admit that Flak 1 is nicer than Pike Beam here. Because now we have 8 projectiles and a very fast timer. And it's just more pinpoint than the Pike Beam. Uh, Pike Beam is overall a little more destructive and has a higher total damage it can achieve on a ship, but Flak's ability to strip shields is great. I never use that one, Mad God, though some people do that. Nothing wrong with it. Let's go ahead and do that. I probably shouldn't have spent before the store, but I have Pike Beam Double Hermes Missile to sell and no subsystems left to buy. So we're, we're good. Anti-personnel drone? No anti-personnel drone. That's tough. Tough for them. Yo, what's up, Shirai? Okay. Well, Shirai is going to be the new pilot because slug pilots cannot be mind controlled, making them the best pilots. Let's also get Shirai a new name here, which is going to be Politely Evil. Yo, there's Politely Evil right there. Nice. Okay. Mind-controlled shield guy. Honestly, let's gotta defend that. I think I'm gonna use my first hacking part here just to make sure these weapons go down. Not even that scary of a weapon setup, but if it goes uncontained for a few a few rounds, could be an issue. We'll just take care of it. Who's, who's half trained on shields here? Elizabeth. What, are you, what do you got going on, Air Gear? Okay, hold on. Elizabeth didn't get renamed. I need to do that. Let's put the. Let's put Elizabeth here. And then put you in the boarding and the human on shields. Save here. All right, Elizabeth is Jundao.
All right, generally pretty junky here. We get to offload our equipments, though, which is great. You know, it's 17 parts here. I'm just going to pop off a hole repair. Let's go. Hey, there's June down, too. It's like everybody we've named today is uh, here. Awesome. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Okay, investigate. Okay, I'm already at eight crew right now, so I'm going to take option number one. Uh, option one is a chance for crew and scrap engineer specifically. Four gives us a guaranteed engineer, but no scrap. So if I if I take this, I have to replace a crew, which is fine, but I don't need a crew. Let's take NG controlled. Don't actually need stores, but engineers uh, offer a lot of free stuff, and I think the fight rewards inside of Energy Controlled Sector are very nice. I accept. Alright, so this quest probably is a store. Oh man, this is a weird one, dude. Okay, let's take the quest and then go up here. It might be double diving or triple diving on this sector. Let's see how it goes. Quest first. Okay, free reactor upgrade. That's nice. I think they die before the missiles go off, but since I have drone recovery arm, no... Might as well do that. Burko, the half-trained engine human well I could definitely see myself replacing one of the mantis here we don't need we don't need more four than four mantis we again lose a little training from that but yeah okay I'm gonna make you the new Jun Dao Jun Dao excuse me Talking's hard sometimes when you have a brain. All right, so you weren't you put the engineer on shields now. The engineer being on shields is a much easier system to abandon to go do repairs. So I think the shielding is the optimal system for our one engineer. Hmm. All right, let's count here. Okay, this does connect back, so it would be a double dive. I can definitely double dive to get three extra jumps in this sector. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for this one. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dive, dive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Slude Boar the Magnificent. Thanks for... 13 months and a year in a row. Thank you, Zinri's. Thanks for six months as well. Too kind, everybody. Too kind. No medbay, no clone bay. I like these guys. You guys are all right. We've really felt the power of the four mana boarding crew on this run, like uh, versus these ships that have stronger weapons, the crew are just dying before they can even fire. So we're not having to use uh, a lot of hacking parts, which is freeing up parts for hull repair. Feels nice because it is nice. To buy as much fuel as offered here, even if it's seven. Okay. I'm certainly not against Zoldan Shield Bypass on a boarding ship.
Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a few more jumps before I decide here. Definitely a store in the back end of this sector is possible. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming. Improved doors would have had a blue option on that. I'm just going to pop off a full repair here because I can. Okay, nice low scrap reward. I guess since we see there's no fight here, I'm just going to go one, two, three, and then dive, dive. Oh, wait, never mind. Did I goof up this here? I'm going to go one. Okay, there's no way to get to the fourth jump here, so it's one, two, three, dive, dive. Looking good. Going to reject your offer. Alright, defense drone. This one should be very straightforward. Just gotta board shields and then slap the clone. Okay, where is this landing? Landing on engines, I'm gonna let that through. Looking good. Three hundred and six scrap. Let's spin some. Let's get uh, six engines here for diving. Level two backup battery, two power bars, uh, three hack as well. Great. War shields is definitely next. Reactor upgrade for two drone parts and three missiles. I'll do that. Gaining reactor for non-scrap resource. Sounds cool. All right, y'all. Before we double dive here in Sector 6, uh, going to stand up stretch real fast, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you all the same. I'll be back in... Just a moment for some more fun. Just grabbing my lunch here. In fact, let's go to the bunk bed. Uh, Cam, load this up in the corner. Uh, be back in just a moment.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Hope you enjoyed the kitty tree time slash search grid alpha. Okay, we're going into a double dive right now. I'd like to get the kill on these dive ships. That'd be very nice. Maintain our fuel. Fuel is one of the weaker points of our run right now. Alright, this ship has six crew so it seems a little bit unlikely what i'm gonna do here then is i'm just gonna hack weapons keep this missile launcher from firing and with six engines we should get out of here before the enemy asb fires if it does not the end of the world if we end up taking six damage by the end of this dive okay it was worth three extra jumps Trading hull damage for anything right now is actually a pretty good deal for us because we have the, uh... Nice. We have the hull repair drone. Yo, Almighty Joker 79 thank you so much for 70 months of support. Thank you. Same deal here. Yeah, we picked up an early drone recovery arm in this run, uh, and then happened to find the whole repair drone later. Yeah, that's fine. No sweat. Three damage for a double dive. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go slug home Nebula. There are some good events here. All right, immediate store. Do I have anything to really sell? No. I might just pass on the store or go there just to buy fuel. All right, I'll buy some fuel. Cool, cool. Combat 2 would be pretty neat right now if I could afford it. Alright, our main purchase we want to make here inside of Sector 7 is 4 shields. That's 180 scrap plus power. We're in a good position to save to get that. Hey, IPS Stormhelm, thank you so much for that Prime sub. Appreciate the three months. Cheers. Board shields. I'm gonna board shields and just hit the uh, hit the clone bay. So a question I'll be asking myself a lot uh, on these ship fights is if I want to use oh my god halberd beam if I want to end up using. 
a hacking part, is it going to save me more hull than a hull repair drum would heal? And the answer to that, in most cases, I think will be no. So I'll hold off on using hacking if I think I'm going to finish the fight somewhat quickly. And then just uh, pop over to hull repair drone instead of using hacking. Albert Beam's pretty nice. I'm probably going to use that for the flagship fight. But I want to get the... Uh, the shields online first, as this is a very functioning system that can win already. Seen a lot of the R100 command in chat today. Awesome. Thank you for using that one. I'll just uh, briefly overview the new FTL series we're starting. It's the R100, which stands for Random 100. Going to be doing uh, 100 runs where I roll two ships random and then pick one of the ships. If it happens that I have a win on one ship and don't on the other, I must choose the ship that does not have a win yet. All of my previous series, I've started with getting one win on each ship, but we're going to do this randomized and then uh, throw in that little that little extra that if uh, we haven't pl haven't won on a ship yet, we have to choose that one over the other option. I do not, uh, Striker. I don't play games for win-loss or streaks or anything, uh, though I definitely am a very experienced FTL player, and I do play to win. Uh, I am always willing to take a fun choice that has less chance of success uh, versus the sure thing. So I am not, I'm not trying to force a particular win percentage. My win percentage for FTL has been very consistently between 70 and 80 percent for the past several years, and I'm not looking to escalate that. I'm quite happy with where I'm at. For me, there's some inherent issues with doing win streaks and the, the way you have to play them. I really does boil down to personal preference, though. Okay, let's just get over here. Okay, how injured is this guy? 72. I worry about that. You know what? This will be fine. We're going to board shields here. Okay, let's put the lower health crew on this low health crew here. It's not going to be that big of a difference, but when this crew dies, the other crew has to walk into the room. So that gives the crew that has lower health more time to catch up. There's fire in here, maybe. Oh, I let him destroy the teleporter. Okay, no problem. James, the fully trained weapons engineer. Who's our weapons guy right now? It's Suproc, maybe? June Dao? Who is the weapons guy? It's got to be Suproc, who was the pilot. Yeah, okay, so you're the new Suproc. Yo, Bearded Flames, thank you so much for 70 months. Appreciate that 7-0. And Sauce Hunter, thanks for the 5 gift sub package. Thank you. I don't even know if I'm going to go to that store. If I go one, two, three, and I can still make the store, I will. But otherwise, I'm just going to head right. All right, intruders on board. Med bay here. Let's just continue. We're going to kill off these crew. 
We're gonna load up a defense drone. Oh, our med bay's down. Okay, I see, I see. Well, with the med bay being down, I'm gonna say that our chance of getting a crew kill here, I could get a crew kill, it's just not reliable. And since it's not reliable, I'm gonna hack, uh, hack engines and hit weapons. Hey, there is fires going on. They have one, two, three, four, five, six crew. But I guess if I board it with four fully healed crew, it might not be so bad. Interesting. So they care about that more than they do the other room. Interesting. Oh, I see there's fire in here. It's making sense then. Worked out good. A little bit scary, but all right. Alright, do I go to the store or do I just take the fights that are showing? I kind of think I'm just going to take the fights that are showing. But no, I'm going to go down here. I have a weapon to trade out, so if I can't sell that weapon, I lose the value on it. Probably not worth the, the scrap, but still, but still. Wow, second halberd beam? Double halberd beam's very serious. That would also not require uh, any more investment. Yeah, double halberd's not worth it here, but getting to one halberd is. Let's give us a two pass uh, kill on the flagship. So we'll do this and this. Then we're going to buy uh, here. Good. Right, now we're saving for War Shield. If we didn't already have a halberd beam, I'd definitely buy it there, but we do. Dread Captain Knights. Okay, no. Engage in a duel of the mind. Oh, snap. Okay. I forgot that was the reward for the duel of the minds. Maybe I'll do that, but four shields is much more important in the immediate. Let's go ahead and attack. Okay, Glade Beam is a little concerning.
Uh, disable door systems. Let's just go. Should be pretty straightforward. Should not need a hacking part here. You gotta deal with a five laser first volley, but that's all right. Just roll over to shields here real quick. Nice. Go back here. All right, we have enough for four shields now. Let's just pick it up. Feels good because it is good. Kage Tora, thanks so much for 53 months. Appreciate that continuation. And Kurt Soon, thanks for 88 months. 12 more for that one Honda. Thank you. Combat 2 Beam Drone, big deal there. Let's go ahead and just hack shields. Okay, no more store. No more store. No more. Long range scanner, get him. They're sending over an ion intruder, which is a pretty serious offense. Luckily for us here, we're looking great. Okay, they have level three Bombay. Got him. Mm -mm. 
I think I'm just gonna run from this one. Let's just drop a level three hack down. I could kill this ship, it's gonna be a pain. Hey, Dark Z Triple Nine, thanks for 103 months. Yo, Stony Magoo, thanks for 77 as well. Hell yeah. All right, let's just get out of here. To the last day. Yo, All King, thanks for 68, dude. Thank you. All right, here's a fact. We're not going to get the second Halberd Beam online. The difference between Halberd Beam, Halberd Beam, Burst Laser 2, and this is nothing on the flagship. It's still going to be a two volley kill. The Halberd Beam has to go off twice either way. Okay. May not get a repair station here. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. What we have left, we have three reactor power left plus backup battery. So to have defense drawn online, which we're going to want at pretty much every point during the flagship, we need these two power bars. And that leaves us one extra power bar left for our uh, remainder. Uh, it's almost certainly going to be engines. But before I make a decision on that, let's go ahead and pop in a value point in weapons and a value point in O2. Value point refers to a point that you spend without the intention of powering it. You just have it there as a safety. So if you get hit, you don't lose a, lose the system. Okay, double flak. Pain laser. Let's just board and hack here. See if I can sneak this through. Four fuel, sixty eight scrap. Awesome. Hit the repair station, it's five free drum parts. Hell yeah. That's a lot of hull repair. Alright, let's buy this now. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, we're gonna attack the Schlaber scum. <laughs> Only two crew on this bad boy. Why? Why? That's brave. Let's just, uh, we'll just hack out on medbay here. Really simplify this.
All right, on uh, phase one here, we don't have cloaking, so we got to go for the quicker kill. Uh, and I think the quicker kill is just going to be hacking shields. I am debating boarding here as well, but I don't think I do board on the flagship fight with this setup. Let's just separate our crew out into different systems. Like not med bags, so if I get level three hacked on the med bay, we're dead. The soldiers are coming towards sensors or something, so I'm gonna let this go. Okay, O2 hack is fine. As long as we put one power into O2, it's uh, negligible. Let's also put real power into the uh, O2 here, just so it, it's maintained. Cool, we got the missile launcher down for now, and very clearly one, uh, one volley away from kill. Quite good. June Dow and V Agent Zero. Any little topper time here? Yo, Popo Wing, thanks for 83 months. Boop, indeed, and Doc Mars. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Thank you. All right, now we're going to wait at the base for them. Yo, it just keeps going, Zori. And thanks for 106 months. 106. Okay. The same process last time, trying to get the missile launcher here. It makes sense. Here come the drones. Got a really heavy roll on uh, beam drones there. That was very fortunate for us. Very fortunate. Phase 3 has boarding and mind control, so what I want to do is I want to separate out my crew into systems that they can actually punch for a second. Uh, the mana specifically. So we're going to put indoors here, which is level 2. We're going to go sensors level 2, uh, drones, and backup battery.
Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, door's got mind control. That's a good spot. That's good, too. I should just roll over here and start killing them. Doors went down, that's fair. Um, let's send you over here to repair that, and you up here. I very well am probably going to back off this fight. Alright, so they just boarded with uh, crew 7 and 8. I'm going to jump back to the base now. Uh, we're basically stealing their crew now, and there will only be two crew left at the next uh, next attempt. I'll pop off a whole repair to get that last little bit healed too. Why not? Why not, you betcha? All right, now we wait. Okay, I didn't separate out my crew, which was my fault. No problem, though. You can just have at him. Not you. Hey, Yesh, thanks so much for three wonderful months. Appreciate that continuation. Thanks a lot. Did my hacking go down? Oh, my backup battery did. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Looking good. Nice. G G. Very fun run. Hey, Caleb Thurman. Thanks for eleven months. One more for that year. All right, we got one uh, win on Manus B, one loss on Stealth A today. Let's go ahead and do a tiebreaker here. Uh, before we do that, though, I'm going to post this command, the R100, and I'm going to update the spreadsheet, which is tallying our adventure here. So this is going to be Mantis B number two. Be 
bold. Green. The dirt. Okay. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven. Back to the hangar list. No list. We're gonna roll twice here. Kestrel B and Rock B. I'm gonna do Rock B. I love playing Rock B. All right, um, I'll just put it in now. I have this open. Rock B number three. What I'm going to end up doing is once we get to, you know, uh, 20 or so runs, I'm going to sort this by alphabetical, uh, the spreadsheet, which is why I'm numbering them in color coding. Okay, I can't mark it yet, but that is our run. What I like about Rock B is it has some very unique um, crew kill capabilities. It's, uh, it's a pretty fun ship, and one I like Crew Teleporter on. Uh, Rock B is the only ship in FTL that has no outside doors, so no vents, but you have 600 HP worth of fire immune crew to make up for that. I think it's a pretty strong vessel overall and quite fun to play. Alright, time for name and game list now. Racy Gold. Let's go ahead and differentiate these as well. Good. Bratwurst Classic. Austri. S T R Z Y. And Beep. Teleporty, probably Dirk, but since this is a video game, we don't need to challenge the logic of the game. Uh, feel free to have some name suggestions for this fine vessel right here. This is number three. Might have to make our names a little bit shorter because I am numbering the ships. Let's go uh, coal bow tie. That sounds nice. All right, we're we're off. All right. Okay, Rock B starts with Heavy Pierce, which is exclusive to this ship. It is basically a heavy laser that has one shield piercing. So it's very, very good in the early game and then falls off a cliff around Sector 4. But really strong. And then Firebomb as well. Okay, here we go. Alright, we're going to attack the ship to get to the sensor station. Getting a reveal here will be sick. Uh, however, if we end up taking damage here, not so sick. We'll see. We'll see. Please hit. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, map reveal of the surrounding area. Oh, snap. It's a bonanza. All right, so what we're going to do here is probably go one, two, and then three. And then we'll head through here, up, over, down, something like this. We're going to have to do a little bit of counting here. Maybe I want to go down this way first. Go one, two, three, four. This way I get four jumps before the store. Yeah, that looks a lot better, in fact.
send the rocket repair arm okay repair arms getting sold repair arm removes scrap to repair hole though if you are at full hole does not remove scrap from your events it's definitely not a a bad weapon but still okay it's going to be a two crew ship so our immediate goal here is to almost kill this crew we want him to have a near-death experience but not actually die and then we're going to hit this just to slow down their weapons. Okay, we got a breach as well. Awesome. Okay, how low is he? He's at... 11. Let's move this guy Move this guy out now. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, since I killed him there, I guess I'm going to hit 02. I definitely made a goof on that. This should be a crew kill, but I think I locked myself out of it. Oh, they have three crew. Never mind, then. This was not going to be a crew kill no matter what. Feeling better already, then. I'm going to reject your offer. Huh. I just realized I could have probably swapped a firebomb in that last one to get a crew kill. Let's do this here. Okay, we did get a breach on that room. Uh, let's go ahead and swap over to firebomb. After I hit O2 here and stop this from recovering O2. Okay, enemy FTL charging true. I need them to run out of HP. But also not run. So how do I do that? I think I can start with that by... Rolling a fire into piloting? So maybe fire into engines makes more sense here. Let's do fire and engines. Okay, engines are down. Nice. Anybody at 30 or less? 40 here? Nice. Chain burst laser as well. Amazing. Great find there. Feels like maybe taking this store now is a little more advantageous. We have the rock plating and repair arm to sell, so it's not like we're going to get many more opportunities from uh, taking this jump first. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this needs to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, all right. We're not getting an extra fight either way. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Chain laser is nice because it, it helps amplify the heavy peers potentially. All right, so very similar deal here. We're going to let them board. Uh, they're going to go into the shield room. I'm going to start fighting them. I'm going to hit their weapons. And then I'm going to swap to firebomb. Okay, we got a breach there too. Awesome, man. Just awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Miss? Don't miss. Thank you for starting a double fire. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty brutal there. They're in piloting. How much health do you have here? 65. Okay, one more fireball. I'm going to swap the heavy laser after that. Be Pierce, rather. Yeah, that was my fault. No reason I shouldn't be able to pick them off now. Oh, except for they have three crew left. Okay. Well... Just gotta let the fires roll through then. This fight could have been managed slightly better, certainly. Yo, Mousy Pounds, thanks so much for three months. Sorry for missing your uh, reset notification earlier. As always, if you're late to or miss your notification, do sincerely apologize. Have a terrible case that humanite is myself. It is true. And as part of our No Frills format, which is no pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay, I also do not have any alerts playing in my own ears. So I do occasionally miss things, so that is not my intention. Okay, good. That was concerning, but the uh, engines were the one going down. They have at least level 202 here. Almost feels like level 3 because the fires are persisting continually. Yo, lovely bees. Thanks for that gift sub as well to Elusive. Never seen two cats like each other as much as Daisy and Sport. They're like best buds forever. It's awesome. Whether the fire jumps to the piloting or not, we're getting the kill here, so. It's gonna leave it as is. The fire went out, but he has no way to repair the rest of the ship, so it's just a matter of a few moments before the O2 goes down. Oh, what's up, Brian? Brian's going to be the sensor guy. Also, Brian is getting a new name right now, which is Tao.
Long range scanners? Oh yeah. Okay, let's sell off um, repair arm and rock plating here. Whole beam's interesting, but not required at the moment. It's gonna leave it as is. Let's pick up at a minimum two shields right now. Alright, this one being a forward scout of the Rebel Fleet is um, gnarly because they also have Repair Drone too, yikes. It's possible we can stop this one from running, though it's not likely, and Double Fleet Pursuit hurts a little bit here. Okay, we got a Breach, that's very good. Good, we got a breach there too. Yes. It's gonna slow the uh, engines down. Good. Very lucky. Very lucky. No, 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 no. Intervene and defend the outpost. Hey, Soapbox Huey, thanks for that tier 2 54 month subscription. Majestic Mr. Fox, thanks for 17 as well. Cheers. Alright, store time. Alright, that's a nope, but uh, still cool, still cool. Look, I missed Mortachine and Brian Tay, too. Mortachine, thanks for 10 months. Brian Tay, thanks for 47. Appreciate ya. All right, so this one, we're going to start with an O2 hit, and if we get a breach, it'll be the crew kill. I'm going to take a moment to train here. Not very long, but uh, a little bit. Not going to be doing too much training here on the R100 series. This is pretty much the perfect situation. And uniquely on this ship, we already have the systems manned. So uh, it's a very clean opportunity. 
also the fastest possible training ship available in Sector 1 that's not just a one combat drone. Yeah, definitely not against doing uh, training uh, ancient stealth tech. What I'm not going to be doing is like the very first time I come up against one laser taking 40 minutes to train all of my crew on all the systems, right? But uh, when it makes sense, it makes sense. Big time makes sense here. More, you're being a little wild man today. What a lad. They definitely can, William, as long as you've been, uh, been in and out of the channel increases the chances a lot, but you don't have to be present for a gift sub to happen. I think part of the uh, calculation for gift subs too is also um, there's like a back-end stat on Twitch that you can see in the dashboard about uh, which channels you share viewership with. So like, let's say, for example, uh, if you watch me and Dolphin Chemist play FTL, we have very different styles. I think we're both very entertaining streams. I love Dolphin stream. Uh, you'd be more likely to receive a gift sub in my channel if you primarily watched Dolphin but hadn't tuned into my channel because we both share the game category and we share a larger percentage of viewership um, as a result of that. That makes sense. I don't know all the details on gift subs. I've just my own observation that uh, you'll often get uh, gift subs to people that play similar games to the person you watch or if you uh, have a shared community. Whatever algorithm Twitch is using to do recommendations also must have something in there. Though, on occasions, it does seem very random. I've definitely uh, gotten random gift subs to channels that I have never watched, never watched the category to. But there's some sort of science behind it. Yep, definitely, Gromke. That is the goal of Twitch. They are a for-profit company, so whatever they do has to have a uh, <laughs> ulterior motive towards that. Well, not even ulterior, but that is their motive. 
So it makes sense for them to uh, stagger gifts into things they think people will enjoy watching and possibly continue. Makes sense to me. Yo, Black Reaper 117. Thanks for nine awesome months, dude. Oh yeah, this is going great. I'm just going to finish out the pilot and engines. Easy peasy. For this brief expenditure of time, we're going to get 30% faster charging on the shield bar, which uh, versus a lot of fights makes two shield bars a lot more like three, and 10% evasion versus every projectile. So, pretty nice step up. Pretty nice. Okay, how much hole do they have here? Two, four, six, eight, ten... Start with the heavy pierce on O2, because if I do get a breach there, I could get the crew kill off of just that. But only one. Then we gotta go into firebomb. and a miss. Wow, triple miss. Amazing. Glad I didn't start with firebombs then. Four misses in a row. Whoa, they got the jukes. Okay, double fire. That's good. Can probably actually very likely here, depending on how fast they put out the fires, drop firebomb on them. And then if I do it inside of this room, uh, one, I'm getting 60 crew damage, and two, they may not put the fire out in time. So I'm not going to need to use uh, too many bombs. Well, okay then. 22, 26. Let's do it. Oh, they left the room, kind of? I think we got him here on just this. Yeah, he hasn't put a fire out yet, and he's at 60. We're so good right now. Okay, he's low enough health. Even if he finishes this fire, we can finish with the Heavy Pierce instead. Right. 
Hell yeah, steal the civvy supplies. Awesome. <laughs> this event, man. Dan Show, remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you. Stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on three firebombs. Show the pirates how to intimidate settlers. Start fires in their crude dwellings. The issue with attacking here is that we have to get all the way through with the Zoltan Shield, so minimum, minimum three heavy pierce fires here to get to their weapons. So I actually think option three might be very advisable here. But we're going to go here. Double, double reward. Having purchased a second weapon power here, or another weapon power would have been very good. But uh, we'll get the kill, I believe. Okay, is this Artemis or... I guess the way I'm looking at this is it's very likely that even if we got hammered by missiles here, that the uh, reward for the double reward would more than pay for the repairs that we're going to need. Okay, it is a two damage missile as well. It's not bad. Okay, we're kind of in the clear now, as long as weapons don't get hit. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. got really lucky here. Extremely fortunate. Eighteen and ten. Okay, that paid for the damage. All right, I'm gonna choose to buy one more weapon power right now. Hailed him. Hey, missiles for two fuel. I'm gonna do that. Oh, abandoned sector. I, I. Let's take this one. French dip's a pretty solid sandwich, if I don't say so myself. Okay, you guys require assistance here? Critical, must metal. What do we get for 30 scrap here? Anybody know? I need to refill my water. If anybody knows this event, I'd love to hear it. If not, that's cool too. I'll be back in just a moment for some more fun.
All right. I'm going to go ahead and get the theory scrap then. Thanks for the clarification. Reverse ion field, definitely not a bad one. Maybe not the smartest thing to do before uh, hitting up a store, but here we are. Mind control, pre-igniter. Honestly, mind control with firebomb is like, <laughs> it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and buy mind control here. Big fan. Mind control keeps the firebomb going for much longer in this run. Okay, no equipment, fine. Yo, Ruing Lift, thanks for 99 months. Tile Lights in, thanks for 38 as well. I'm just going to take this. Not currently using drone parts. Hmm. Well, I only need one shield here, so I guess I'm gonna roll over Firebomb, maybe? This uh, repair drone makes it really hard to get a crew kill here. Let's call it how it is. Yeah, well well described there, Kojo Dan. That's how I understand that it went, too. Okay, we did get a breach there. There's something. I'm just going to worry about keeping weapons down. Okay, they're going to both break away to the med bay here, right? Yeah? Oh, we're getting a crew kill right now, I think. See what happens here. How much health? 53? Hmm. I have to swap to Firebomb to make that work. You know what? I'm willing to take a damage here to get a crew kill that came out of nowhere. Bottom six fuel, 22 scrap. Definitely worth that small expenditure and hole damage. A hey, good day to you as well. Tile lights, thanks for 38. Hurricane Geo 43 and Predirect, thanks for 71 months. Cheers. Let's continue. A couple power bars would be very nice, but shouldn't be required for most things. Okay, we're going to attack the Lania ship here. Okay, depending on where the hack lands, they shouldn't be able to damage us. Okay, medbay hack's perfect. Uh, now we can do mind control and just get them low and finish with the heavy pierce. Actually, when one dies, we're going to hit the uh, clone bay. And then 
kill the guy that is going to try to repair that. You can still have the firebomb loaded up here as well uh, for 30 damage, but I don't quite have the power to have the mind control and both weapons online. Almost. All right. Okay, one died. Oh, one didn't die. <laughs> Fair. This will also work, though. lasers that's awesome because now we can do four lasers yeah asteroid feels always a bit spoopy one two three four five it's a good revealing jump though i'm gonna buy two power bars i just feel like it's the right choice at the moment or about two shower, <laughs> two power shy. Mix those two together of uh, having exactly what we want here. Let's go chain laser, heavy pierce. Dang. It is also a Artemis, which is brutal. This my control here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna swap over to Firebomb now. I think that's our best chance at crew kill. We are quite flush on Firebombs, which is great. 4357. Okay, since this is an Artemis, they're gonna have to repair two in order for that to come back online. So we're gonna be able to mind control the repairer in time. And this guy should get the other crew. They should get both below 30 health on this exchange here. And once they are, I firebomb. There we go. Awesome. That's just how good Rock B is. Can even get crew kills inside Abandoned Sector. Ooh. Me like. Gonna go one, two, three, four. I got these new new toys. It's okay, so uh, I've... I've talked about the cat dancer toy on stream before. It's basically just a high action wire with a piece of cardboard on the end and the cats go ballistic for it and uh, same company has these other products which is basically just like a condensed cardboard hoop with a couple feathers on it. S'more has been going nuts for like two hours for this thing. He is just living his best little kitty life right now. Okay, you intercept discussions between a rebel patrol and a human mining colony. We realize you're scared, but all reports indicate the metal bastards target abandoned settlements only. Okay. Okay. So this one's gonna be... I think firebomb mind control. Seems appropriate. I 
Okay, that's definitely something. Fires or nah, no fires. Ow, Smorty's clawed my leg, bud. Hey. I know you're excited, partner, but that's not a good place to play. What a lad. Okay, great. Mind control's out. Okay, one's dead already. When he goes into the med bay, we slamming. Roasted. Yo, Peripheral 1994, thanks for the legendary 102 months of support. Thank you. Yo, Duragon, thanks for 50 months. Appreciate the half century and camo 13 ammo. Thanks for 54. Thank you. All right, what's going on over here? Well, one, the ship can't damage us, so we're certainly looking to get a crew kill. Could just be a slam dunk on the mind control and then hit him with lasers on the second mind control. Mind control, such a spectacular system. Backup DNA bank, okay. I'm probably selling that since I have med bay, but cool augment. One cool interaction with backup DNA bank. That's if you have clone bay and you lose crew, you can uh, reclone them. Uh, even if the clone bay is down during their death, as long as somebody survives to repair it. And additionally, uh, if we had crew die right now, let's say we had a ca catastrophic event while holding on to the backup DNA bank and only our Manus remains, we had single crew. If we then purchase clone bay and swap the med bay for it, we could reclone these crew that died while we had med bay because they're stored in the backup DNA bank from the point you pick up this augmentation, you can save the DNA of dead crew. So in some pretty rare and spectacular uh, situations, you can actually recover crew that have been gone for quite a while. All right, we're gonna attack the ship. Heavy burst chain or heavy pierce chain. I want to go for a crew kill here, but missile launcher is damage. See if this lands first. I hope so. They did. Okay, no matter uh, which room he goes into, shields or piloting, they will initiate a fight here. So let's go. No. That's an abysmal offer. I thought they were going to get the uh, mutually assured destruction kill there. That would have been awesome. Yo, what's up, Nick Me? 
All right. And hang out in the O2, I guess. Okay, hacking, drone control, doors, defense two. Am I holding on to a defense one right now? I am. Gump Gumpo the, the Lanius. What a lad. Okay. Definitely going to sell backup DNA bank here at the very least. All right, let's purchase hacking. Let's sell. I'll sell defense drone. If possible, I'll use defense drone later, but not for quite a while. Reverse ion field, I might just hold on to. It's pretty powerful. Defensive augmentation. Repair to 23. Let's buy a power bar. Not yet. Okay, no engineer for the NG home worlds, but it's still the better option with three stores. Uh, one downside to NG home worlds is engineer ships are going to be much harder to get a crew kill on, though definitely not impossible. And sell chain ion purchase backup battery buy three fuel oh, we got 125 for the next set of weapons yeah, let's just follow the scrap was there an engineer for sale here Ooh. Since we're in Engineer Homeworlds, it's definitely a bit of a temptation to sell Reverse Ion Field for an Engineer. And we're certainly in a position to do that. We already picked up Mind Control and Hacking and upgraded our weapons and got two shields by the end of Sector 2. I'm going to do it. I think there's very uh, little scenarios where purchasing this engineer does not pay back 50 scrap during the run. The only downside being if we find an engineer for free soon or find other crew. We're pretty high on crew to be buying crew, is my point. Right, tile lights in. That's you indeed, Tile Lights, and nice. Alright, I accept. It said patch up, so if this is indeed a station, we'll get a repair there. Usually around Sector 6, uh, Keymoner is when I start thinking about that. All right, another ship that can't damage us. Just serendipity on this run, man. It's like the opposite of the run that we started on um, the Stealth A today. Smarter play here would be double chain laser.
auch. Okay, Laser Charger Mark II, awesome. So, Chain Laser, Chain Laser, Laser Charger Mark II is an in-game weapon system. Sick. I think I'm going to skip this store, because this might also be a store, and I just don't have the scrap to really buy anything functional here that wouldn't be better than simply upgrading the ship. Okay, Nick Me needs a new name here. That's Boris, not Russian. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easy. Can even cut up here if we want. Yeah, here we go. Tough to skip a store, but when it's right, it's right. When I have more than 150 scrap is when I want to be hitting the store for cloaking. 35, 25. Well, not quite there yet. Almost. Hell yeah, free stuff, the sector. Love that NG Homeworlds, man. I'm gonna buy six for 12. Pulsar with two shields, gonna pass on that big time. One, two, three, four, exit. No dive here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. This is the NG Homeworld quest event. That it put it down here is rather rude. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, sacrifice one jump to get this. We'll jump back. So we'll go one, two, three, exit. These events, they're both going to be trying to run from us, which is a little complicated with our current weapon system. But should be manageable with hacking and mind control. One of these will be a real qu the real quest beacon, and the other one will be uh, a fake jump trying to mislead us. Okay. How are we going to have them not run? Well, I am confident in saying that if I firebomb the sh shields or weapons in mind control, the pilot comes off. In fact, if I can damage any system at all and then mind control the pilot, they're going to abandon to that room. a tough one. I think my best chance to have them not run is actually firebombing the shields and then mind controlling there and using a piloting hack. That's a tough <laughs> sentence to say though. Dang. All right, how about this? Double chain laser.
This is super tough, because no matter where I end up, um, hacking is going to block them from defending the room with the other unit. I guess at three crew, actually, uh, at three crew... Mind controlling inside the weapons here will pull the engine guy over, which will then pull the pilot off. Still unsure on this one. I'm gonna think about it for a second. I'm going to go for the firebomb option, and the reason I'm going here is I think we have a better um, overall chance for our first volley does well, but if this missile launcher hits weapons, I don't have a contingency that can pull all three crew to one room. i um, going to be suffering a bit on that one. All right, so we're going to hack engines here. Oh, they're teleporting. I didn't even calculate that. That's okay. It's gonna be good. Sensors is not awesome. Left the room? Okay. I goofed here. Enemy FTL charging? Please don't. Oh no. Okay. We're fine ish, I guess. No matter how we roll this, they're going to end up uh, surrendering before we get the crew kill. So I might as well just hammer him here. Okay, that works. Okay, let's go ahead and swap to Firebomb now, because if I can not do any more crew damage, or whole damage to them, I can probably get a whole reward here and the event reward. Okay, well... Almost. And good news, though, we stopped them from running away and we completed the NG Homeworld quest event. So the next time we get to that quest event, it's going to give us a full hull repair, a bunch of stuff, and titanium system plating, which sells for 40. a very reliable source of hull repair. I also learned there that some fights are really going to want hacking too. Hmm. 
Since I have a full repair coming up next sector, I'm going to go ahead and commit to a dive here to get a little more scrap for this store. We're kind of in a range where getting... Uh, I don't know, cloaking might be possible. On the edge of possibility. Five missiles, two drone parts for reactor. Sure, man. It's a lot of missile and drone part, but it's non-scrap resource for reactor. Drone parts are pretty costly, but I believe. Sprint a weapon. Go. Chain burst laser? Whoa. Triple chain burst laser is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Quad chain laser. Well, I think with the addition of the third chain laser, that charge two's out. I also feel as if heavy pierce is out now. I think I'm just going to buy the weapon power and a power bar here. I would love to save for cloaking, but... Well, maybe not. We do have that full repair to bank on here in a moment. Let's go ahead and get to... Four engine, two power bar. Okay. Dodge. Hey, that's nice. And the ASB mist. Serendipity. Later, Tater. Sultan Homeworld's Uncharted Nebula. Dang. I mean, who doesn't love Zoltan's shield, but I am extremely poorly equipped to deal with Zoltan's ships at the moment. I think with having long-range scanners, Uncharted Nebula actually holds more value. Yo, Lyra Humadera, thanks for 14 once again. And Mr. Mr. What? Thanks for 51 months. Okay, one of these quests is the NG Homeworld quest. It would be a lot cooler if we got this later, but the pathing is not as such. I believe this is one of the fights that, uh, whether you get a crew killer or not, is of no importance. Same reward after, either way. Maybe a slightly better reward earlier, though. Maybe. That's good. Hey, never need to apologize for that, Thrix. Thanks so much for that tier two, 103 months. Appreciate you. Thanks for always being an excellent uh, part of this channel and community, on a personal note. But um boom boom
Yo, there it is. Ten hull points repaired, titanium system casing, and a bunch of stuff. Yo, parse the potatoes. Thanks for 28. Hey, I'm going to do myself a strong favor right now. I'm just going to get these weapons online so I have six lasers instead. With our minimized uh, drone parts, I think that's going to be the best play for uh, moving forward. Also, triple chain laser is awesome because once these get all charged up, I'm firing six lasers every seven seconds. Leaves room for some fire bomb flex, too. Okay, trying to run. Not a bad system either, jeez. I think I might use um, one of my hacking parts here. Let's do it. I can see some big pain coming in on this fight. Real dangerous, man. Trick here is to hit the drones, not the weapons. Okay. We're moderately in the clear now. I got good stuff for distress. Let's check it out. Investigate. I'm gonna leave the madman to his ravings here. Chance to lose a crew on the way back up. Only 25%, but also only 25% chance to get a crew. Get to the station. Resist. Ooh, okay, we missed. That's fair, that's fair. There we go. I cannot remember the last time I've had three chain lasers. It's definitely happened before, but uh, not in recent memory. Not in the last couple series we've done either. Chain laser is one of those weapons that gets much better the more of them you have. Usually in other weapons, this is the chain laser is kind of the odd man out because your other weapons are charging and... 12 to six, 12 to seconds or so and the chain laser is lagging behind at 16 on the first volley. But as a continuous force, very nice. Oh yeah, I can do that. What's this quest? Probably an ambush since it's a fight. Yep. All right, FTL's charging here. They're boarding with two. They have a whole bunch of lasers, too, and they time out really well together. Okay. I think I kind of have to take my chances on their first volley if I want to do well here. I 
if I let them both board and I hack, let's say, engines and then uh, hit weapons and shielding, they will be no longer charging their FTL. So that's a possible way forward. Doing that, though, requires me to... That You know, the first volley on this is the most dangerous. And after, if we survive the first volley, we should be in a pretty okay spot. I think I just got to take my chances here. What I don't like is that these two things time out together very well. Additionally, I could hack weapons here to try to disjoint the disjoint the weapons and then just try to hit piloting with mind control. That'd be viable. Let's actually do that. I'm concerned about this weapon system hitting us in a very um, disadvantageous way. Okay, that's a great spot for them to go because I can collapse here as a four-man squad and probably kill them. I know these two won't hit us with the guy on shields, so I want to hack after this one fires. Nice. Okay, that's really good. Okay, they're officially out of HP now. Just gonna wait for mind control here, drop my hack, mind control this guy, one of them will die and we'll finish with the volley. Easy. Okay, this was the decoy ship. Got it. That was the other half of the NG Homeworld quest that we've already completed. Okay, a fight's a fight. I'll take it. Now let's at least hit this store before we decide on spending scrap. Long range scanner, here we go. I'm only able to use my control on my own ship here. I do three damage to weapons, then... They, this goes down. That's the concern. Okay, let's let them board. They boarded in shields. That's awesome again, so we can go as a three-man or four-man unit here. I am going to use a hacking part. Okay, well, I can't see what's going on. I am pretty sure fire started there because they both moved. I gotta believe in a crew kill here. fire in here now, too. They're done. What? Where's the guy that's alive? All right. 
Ooh. I think I will take double Nebula here. How much power do we currently have? We have 13 power. Doesn't leave us with very much inside the Ion Storm. Only six. Can I afford to buy two power bars and still be able to afford cloaking? Since we have titanium system casing, the answer is yes. Going to go to 15, so we have 8 power here instead. 8 is a much more manageable amount for our current setup. All right, they only have Halberd here. So if we just do this, we're good. So a big trick inside of Ion Storms, if you can ever create a safe situation for yourself, if you can leave it like that, you're in the clear. So we don't actually want to do damage to systems until we're getting ready to go for the end kill, because right now they can't damage us. All right, teleported back one. Cool. I think since only one died, they will teleport back again. Yep. Only one, so the two crew that were injured did not reboard. I'm going to start the fire inside of the weapons. I'm just worried if I start it somewhere else trying to get the crew kill that this will pop back online and then we're not completely secure. There's one guy in engine, one guy in piloting right now. That's how I see it. Neither of them are interested in putting out fires. Okay, he's done. Okay. Should be final volley here. No, he's leaving to what? Engines? What? Maybe the pilot didn't die off that one hit. Alright, a little confused then. They must have had a, uh, a last crew that was full health. That'll do it. I'll just take a second. Ah, uh, no thanks. I've already invested far, far too much time and resource in this fight to be accepting surrender. Are they repairing weapons right now? You son of a gun. I'll just fire one more. We're flush on bombs. Repair burst. Repair burst is actually really good. Can fully repair a system back to full from nothing. Maybe.
All right, we'll lead you out of the nebula here. Thanks for the high scrap reward. And, ooh, two stores before the exit. Nice. There's cloaking. All right, titanium system casings out. I mean, there's a pretty decent argument for a rolling with repair bomb. I'm not going to hold on to this thing forever. Uh, I don't think it's a bad take here at all. It's actually quite good. Just going to choose to pass on it. Okay, now we have cloaking, so we have 100% dodge versus the first enemy volley. That's a very big deal. Manually search the wreckage, maybe? Hmm? Oh no, Boris is gone. Rest in pepperonis, humanitis guy. All right, just going to buy fuel here. I will definitely dive for one extra jump here. Why not? It's a nebula, so no anti-ship battery makes that a lot simpler. I legit thought I had two piloting on that one, but I didn't did not. That'll do. I'm going to go to backup battery, I think. Well, let's hold on just a minute. I was thinking this was the end of Sector 5, but it's not. Alright, that's pretty tough. Let's go four engines here. We'll cloak the, uh, the missile launcher. Maybe we should be cloaking the... Uh, the Flak 2 probably more correct okay gonna be popping off in just a second I think can we cloak before the missile arrives no here we go Two damage dives, no sweat. I guess we're going Zoltan controlled then. Cool. All right. Might be skipping this one. We're going to start here. 
All right, before we officially kick off uh, Sector 5 here on our third run today, just going to stand up, stretch real fast, use the restroom, grab some water. encourage you to do all those same things. We'll be back in just a few moments for some more FTL action. All right, I'm back. I'm starting right here. All right, what's our route here? I think it's uh, two, two hacking and then two hacking, three shields. It's by two hacking right now. Well, let's see how our first volley goes here. Never mind. <laughs> I need these to go down. Very good. I think Rock B is pretty solid. Glenier is definitely uh, a nice one. Rock B rewards game knowledge a lot because it lets you get a lot more uh, crew kills with the tools it has. Firebomb especially. There we go. Pulsar is going to pass on that. I'm good.
Five laser beams, mini beam. Let's see how our first volley goes before I make any decisions. Wing and a miss. It makes it easy for us. Okay. Good dodge. I can see what was going on over there. This was not a rock vessel. I would definitely start lobbing firebombs into this ship. Misclick the surrender offer there, though. It wasn't too bad. As it turns out, I make mistakes every time I play games every day. Check this out. Might just hook back this way and skip this again, but I want to see the information on these. Alright, counter mind control. I think we might be looking at our first shield hack here. Hmm. No. She's gonna hack weapons. It's gonna hack right after this fires, so we can kind of disjoint these weapons a bit. Just fire in. Also maintain the integrity of the cloak. So between uh, hacking and cloaking, we should be able to do some damage here. Fine. I feel like we made the right decision on that one. Ooh, that's a really nice reward. Wow. All right, well, maybe I just swing back down this way and get four of the next five jumps being fights. Sure. Go back up battery two. I'm going shield three next. I'm just going to spend uh, essentially the rest of this sector not worrying about saving for stores at all and just investing the scrap we get right on in there. Let's go ahead and get two power bars as well. Okay, what does it actually put us at? Right now, backup battery boosts power into all systems, so buying power right now doesn't make sense. Let's commit to three shields right now by buying a half bubble. It's not a technique I often do, but I think it's <laughs> very obviously the thing I want right now. Okay. Can probably get a firebomb crew kill here. Thank you. 
That was very fortunate. Wow. All right, I'm going to mind control the pilot on my next uh, volley. I'm going to slow roll this. I was thinking I can get like three crew inside the weapon room and then slam them with two shields, but uh, getting this missile down should be my primary goal. Okay, didn't quite get there. Okay. We're gonna. This will do it. Okay, good. Could have cloaked uh, at least one of those. Firebomb time. Okay, we're going to start with firebomb. Yes, lands very good. mind control him here. Oh, he's not going to come to defend the shields. Interesting. They have to be damaged before he wants to do that. That's fair. We're pretty flush on bombs, so I'm not going to try to min-max my bomb usage. Just going to start popping off. Fuel is a nice reward there. Hey, Glitch, thanks so much for that 100 bits. Much appreciation. Thanks for sharing. All right, let's go all the way into three shields now. Look at us. We got three shields. Now a power bar is making sense. And we'll start saving a little bit now again. Keep it crispy. Is this heavy ion or... Hello, defense. Ion 2. All right. Well, they're not stopping lasers, and while they are engineers, they have no med bay or clone bay. So I think if we do double chain laser fire bomb, if I can land a shot into into weapons and then mind control them in weapons, we're going to be in a great spot. I also have cloak to kind of get out of this ion situation if it gets bad. Okay, now we mind control. And then when he makes to this room, they're both going to go in there. It's 90 crew damage plus a fire started. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Hold on, they don't have very much hole. They have one, two, three, four, five, six systems left. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to fire chain laser here. I'll wait. Fifteen, okay. Anti bio beam, all right. Pretty cool run, man. Sensors being shut off, I don't care about that. Leave the room real quick. We're gonna set up the defensive squad. Oh snap, there's guys in the med bay too. Okay. I get it now. It's a five man boarding team. Let's 
Let's just swap these real quick. Send them in the room in the opposite order. Actually, the console's the bottom here, so we're going to send them out and put the engineer in first. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, does that change anything for us? Tell you what, right now at 24 scrap, I'm really not looking forward to seeing a store. I do have some stuff to sell, but without a few more jumps, maybe not. So I think what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, and skip this bottom store. Getting one of two is very reasonable here. We're maxed out on subsystems as well, so the only thing we're really going to be able to buy is weapons, and I'm quite happy with our weapon system currently. I almost think a triple chain laser antibiobium is kind of a fun idea. I don't think this runs far enough ahead to try that, but I'm going to consider it here in a moment. Ooh. It's looking pretty nice, man. Well, I know if I do three damage to weapons, I take down the missile launcher. So using a hacking part here seems like a slam dunk. Cloak the first missile and then disable the weapons. Since they have this showing, it's almost certain this is an Artemis missile as well. Yep. Okay, how much does this jump for? So I can go one, two, three, four, five, and make the exit here. Fine. That's the path then. Alright, attack the schlever scum. Definitely imagining a crew kill here. Great. Oh, the missile launcher stayed up. Not so great. Fair, though. Fair. Fire down there is good. Well. Got 40 health here. 39. Don't think we're getting a crew kill. Just because they had such low 
Hold to start. Repair rock? Oh, man. I think a high scrap reward is worth more than a repair rock since we have the crew that we do. Also, how much? 49 health. Okay. I'm gonna get a crew kill here. He's going to the med bay. Oops, all microwave. Oops. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and sell Biobeam, sell Anti-Drone. I should buy some drone parts. I think I should. Oh, well, we walked right into their trap where they have no med bay clone bay. That's tough. That's tough. Alright, in addition, the ship can't damage me, so we can simply uh, kill off the crew by using mind control here. Wow, what a trap they laid for us, guys. Wow. <laughs> Scary situation. No med bay, no clone bay can't damage us. Whew. Bacon in my boots. That's right, we fell right into their trap, dang. How silly of us. We could have avoided this situation. I did not mean to press F there, but I did. Goodbye, drum part. You'll be missed. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, they're not going to move again now. Just in case there's a store back here, I'm going to save for one more. I'm probably just going to load in weapons here and just bring the firebomb into this build. Alright, the slug cannot be mind control. Sultan can, though. I'll take a little gamble on this one. We'll try to hit weapons, mind control, and weapons, then firebomb them both. That's the hope. They did hit. Awesome. Uh... 
Get roasted. There's no store back here, but we're going to take our jump. There's no reason not to. Let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade weapons. Firebomb's awesome. This probably isn't technically correct. Six engines is... almost certainly better before the dive. All right, let's think about six engines for a minute. Yeah, okay, weapons can wait, but weapons are going to be next before four shields. We're going to go to six engines, two power bars, and probably three hack next. Are right, we going to dock here? Oh, hey, they just gave us free stuff. Thanks, Sultan Space Squad. Thanks. What having six engines allows us to do is get away from the ASB almost guaranteed. So we can use our cloak for the main weapons if they're of concern. They aren't really of concern here. This is very passive setup. Six engine with a fully trained pilot and engine guy will almost certainly get you away before the ASB uh, fires and hits. So there is a little bit of randomization in uh, the calculation there. Okay, and we're out. NG controlled. Yo, 540s, thanks for nine months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you so much. Okay. Going one, two, three. I don't know about taking two stores here. I have plenty of stuff just to upgrade on the ship. I'll start here. Except, I'm going to check out one. Even just a few fuel here is comfy. Few fuel it is. Doesn't even connect over. All right, I misjudged. Also, we need to come back down this way to reach the exit. It's a little bit funky. So we got three, six, nine jumps before the exit. So if I go one. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, how many to this one? Seven? Yep, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want the quest to be seven is what I want. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we could also make up the room back here by going one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, not quite. Interesting. This is a very uh, peculiar laid out sector. Tricky. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Very tricky. Can also trade this jump too. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least this way we know, uh, get a little more info on these as well. See if we're missing out on something or what we're what we are missing out on so we're not going to go back down that way burst laser mark one fits right in here awesome okay we haven't seen this jump either so i'm gonna trade this jump for this jump we're gonna go one two three four five six All right, storage cache, sign me up. Double beam combat heavy laser. Wow, okay. The ship is very unlikely to hit us. Uh, Deathstab, you can do exclamation mods to get to our mod list. It is the Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator that gives the lines on the map. Um, there are several iterations of that mod, uh, some with numbers and some without. I'm using the one without. If we are using mods in a game, it'll be in that uh, exclam mods command. Do try to keep that updated when we do change mods. Boom, boom. Good choice was made here. 190 to bring weapons online. Okay. Let's go for a three hacking right now. And one more power bar. Great. Three hacking, six engines is a very nice level of safety. We hack the weapons and then cloak. We can get away from any bad situation. Three reactor upgrade. Love it. Accept, surrender, store, okay. Third store of this sector, must be NGs. All right, well, as cool as the firebomb has been and could, could continue to be, we're going to drop it for the burst laser right now. We're going to bring the burst laser on here in a moment and have, just have eight lasers on a very fast timer. Firebomb was honestly quite heroic on the first leg of this run. Okay. I want to try not using a hacking part here. But I probably should. Let's hack weapons. If I can just get the missile launcher down too, I'd be pretty happy. Nice. Five, five lasers versus three shields and 48% dodge isn't too bad. 
take my chances versus that over the missile launcher. Get lots of chances to roll dodge. Okay, pilot hack here gets us the disable on the missile launcher. Juke that. Good. Okay, let's go mind control too then. Like level one med bay, we got a pretty good chance here. Oh, swing and a miss. No surrender. I don't know if we get a crew kill here now or not, but it wasn't nothing. Maybe waiting for mind control and getting a little more damage on that one could have done it. Feeling like I'm at a point in this run where the the burden to get the most crew kills is kind of over. We have the system and now it's just escalating towards the flagship. We have a great build and not too many places left to actually spend scrap. Come listen to your problem here. Oh yeah. Use the mind control system to calm them down. Awesome. No crew but scrap. Shouldn't need to hack here. Cloaking almost directly uh, counters the flak, too, if you're on top of it. Plus, that can happen. Oops, all dead. Oops. Let's go NG controlled again for the last sector here. Okay, there's going to be three stores here. Do I actually want to hit the stores in the NG sector? I am not convinced I do. I am sure I want to hack engines right now. It's going to be really tight because the anti-combat drone is staring this down. Mm -hmm. 
A <laughs> whole system repair, man. They ain't playing around with getting their ship repaired. That's for sure. Straight field sounds good. Okay, saving up for four shields next. We got everything else essentially covered. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go mind control in here, I think. See who gets mind control. The pilot, I can deal with that to have mind control in here. In fact, he's not gonna punch that down, and their weapons are busted, so we're all good here. That was a cool noise. The redoubling begins again. Alright, we're just gonna hammer these guys. Yo, rip on, lol. Thank you so much for six years, 72 months, and Azubu, thanks for 35. One more for three years. Thanks, partner. Do you want to cloak on the first volley here, I think? Just to be super safe. Offer, but nah. All right, I'm going to go down here and then probably end on this one. Maybe even skip the exit on the way out. Three, six before the exit. One, two. So seven, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, boom. Okay. Looking good. Respond to the call. Move in and assist. Let's 
That's a lot of iron. Also a lot of defense drone. Um, okay. Get sneaky sneaked. You know, I suppose a crew kill is not that unlikely here. No med bay, no clone bay. All right, I'll allow it. Look out, he's man, he's gonna pinch you real hard. Did I leave myself enough health on this guy? I don't think I actually did. That's okay. Gonna let the hacking down now. Hopefully he can get two good hits off on the pilot guy. Oh yeah, we're good, man. Yo, you did great, my fan. Stellar work, my friend. It's been a super fun Friday stream. Thank you, everybody, for being here and hanging out. It's been really cool to start off this series. I'm sure glad we're not doing it for win-loss. We just started off with that stealth A loss. That was a good run, though. Those fun runs all around today. I also got to play two of my favorite ships right off the bat, Manus B and Rock B, so that's cool. Alright, we're going to sell system repair here. We're just going to buy some fuel. This should be the last fuel we need for this run, as we get 10 free fuel at the end of the sector. At 190 scrap, I'm going to purchase here. Sure, let's attempt to download. It worked. Cool. I would totally trade out this burst laser for a fourth chain laser at the next door if it's available. all dead. Oops. He went big bada boom. Nah, I'm good on that. I mean, maybe I could hack uh, med bay for a crew kill. It's a little bit of extra work. They're already on the back foot and pretty low hole at that. I mean, honestly, these guys are just asking for an O2 hack kill.
Okay, level 202, at least that's some resistance, I guess. Lost a shield bubble there. Let's hit weapons at least. There we go. This chain ion actually can get a little bit uh, aggressive. Oh, they are very low on O2 though. Wow. Level one medbay, classic manis, classic. Yo, what's up, fairy? The fully engine trained engineer. You mind just like floating about the ship, repairing stuff, though? That'd be cool. What's fairy's name here? Dip. Dip the ng, love it. Okay. I actually believe out of these options, the heavy laser one is the best because heavy laser one fires at eight seconds and ch chain laser while fully charged fires at seven seconds so this is the closest thing that will actually line up with the fully charged chain laser in addition buying the heavy laser here gives us one value point in weapons so that if we take the missile launcher hit two weapons we don't lose anything rather than losing one quarter of our lasers also, the heavy laser does the same damage the burst laser does, just as in one laser instead of two. Black is 10 seconds, which would also be fine, but not... Not an improvement, really. Okay, mind control, get scrap again. 207. J Rack, thanks so much for nine months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thanks so much. Wow. Double fire inside the cloaking with four shields. Pretty high roll by the solar flare.
<laughs> Anti ship fire drone. I, I. Primary goal here is just to run away. We found a store here to sell out the fire drone. That's cool. Chain laser. Oh, being overtaken, that's tough. All right, 121. Let's buy this, and then I'm going to buy the final power bar with our next scrap up. All right, tell you what, I'm going to sell the long range scanners now. I think with the repair station, that should get us that last power bar. Okay. Would have had it either way. Hey, Gibbs, thanks so much for four months as well. Sage AMDP, 62, five years and climbing. Cheers. Well, I really don't want to take damage before the flagship fight, so I'm going to hack weapons and hope I can get the missile launcher down between our hacking and cloaking. That'd be nice. Oh my god, is he dead? He might be. I think he is. Oh, he barely got out. I was very focused on the enemy ship. Ooh, nice. That's good. Oh, okay. That's fine. Nice. Let's fix this up now. to your stations, please. Uh, the enemy crew on the ship were left over from the previous event. When we jumped away from the ASB, they boarded right before that happened. Yo, test face killer. Thanks for 61 months, five years, and climbing. Cheers. What am I going to spend 77 scrap on now? I guess sensors sound cool. Might as well buy level 2 medbay. Just keep everything nice and even, Steven.
Ooh, shield hack's kind of gross. All right, since we got a shield hack here, I kind of want to reset and jump and then jump back. But if I do that and then weapons get hacked, we're going to have an even bigger problem. Okay, let's just roll with this. I was going to do weapon hack uh, here, but I'm going to instead do shield hack. Mind control. Now seems the best option going forward. Okay, we're going to start our hack now. Nice. Okay, they're going to get a cloak off here, and that's expected. I got knocked down to three shields here, and that was my own, uh, my own micro issue. Took more damage than I would have liked there, but a pretty clean phase, and we got a lot of crew kills. So, some positives. I think phase two, phase three are going to be rather quick in our favor. Just with how fast we're firing. I'm probably even going to go for the uh, the weapons hack here on phase two, because I can hack the missile launcher for uh, quite some time. In fact, level three hack on the missile launcher lets us cloak at the same time that the drone phase comes. And by then, our lasers will be fully powered and we have mind control to amplify the lasers. I talk myself into weapons hack. Going to wait for them at the base phase two. Second guessing my weapon hack now. Let's uh, send some defenders over to this side. It's going to land in medbayer engines for sure. A good good hit there. Did I cloak? What? I did cloak, okay. Stuck my hotkey, that'll happen. bit tougher but we're good nice gonna wait for this dying animation to finish here okay their bodies disappeared now we finish them they're left with exactly one crew for phase three. Nice.
Okay, 58 I can buy something. Maybe three piloting, I guess? Hey there, Kraus. Glad you could make it. Going awesome. Thank you. All right, before we head to this phase three on the flagship, I think that was a great time to do our lurker roll call for today. If you're lurking in the channel, I meaning you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter, you have the capability to and you want to. Now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. Appreciate each and every one of you. You're truly the light of this entire site, but none more so than this channel and community. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Dracarnius? Cotton, good to see you. Dr. Love Wizard, Johnson Unit. Hey there, Captain Jackie. Jesse James, what's up, Chopper, Porpoise. Hey there, Evo Rama, Dorothy. What's up, Glorious? Goodbye, Blue Sky. Baraxin, Conexus. Good J Racked, Mage Matic, Cage. Hair Barrington. Look at all those beautiful lurkers. Yo, Chopper, thanks for 35 months during Lurker Roll Call here, too. Thank you. <laughs> Debating if I even want to counter Mind Control. I think for the first one, at least. I might let the second uh, Mind Control go. That worked out really good. We broke the, uh, broke the cloak right as the lasers passed over. Ideal, even. Double fire. Mm-mm. Not looking good, then. Quad fire. The requatening. Oh, GG. All right, gonna lock the... Uh, lock this one in as a win on the spreadsheet here. Gonna fill that one in green. Feels nice. I'm gonna say we're at like 6,200 on that one. It felt pretty good. Didn't run from any fights, got pretty early long-range scanners. We did have a lot of stuff to sell, though. Maybe maybe closer to 59... 59.50? 59.50 is my guess. Hey, Talibans, thanks so much for seven months and that prime continuation. Thank you. Yo, Band of Seven, thanks for nine months during that. 58-14 stats. And there you have it. Only uh, 43 ships defeated on that one. Very nice. All right, it's been very fun Friday stream, but we're not quite done yet. We have one more segment upcoming. That's going to be the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look. You guessed it. Let me get loaded in here. I'll start up a prediction for the daily run as well. Just uh, swap the title and stuff first here. Bless you. Alright, let me get loaded into the mineshaft. 
All right, we're trying to get a 799 victory on all Spelunky 2 characters uh, in 2023. We're currently on Colin. Colin's up. All right, getting Penguin in hand. Now I'm going to start the prediction so you can guess which biome we die in if we go all the way to Cosmic Ocean. Ten minutes on this prediction. Good luck anybody that does wager some of their points. I'll be back in just a few minutes to kick this off. Just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick. Use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a few moments for the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look.
Alrighty, we have returned. Still four minutes left. Get your prediction in if you want to. Time for our warm-up. Penguin into the hole. Nice toss, Colin. Alright, Penguin up the shaft. So good. Time for Penguin. 180 turnaround chair sit down. You ready? Alright, you missed, Colin. That's okay. We'll try again. That's why it's a warm-up. Spelunky 2 daily begins right now. this I'll wait looks good oh way to avoid being squashed bud nice work mr. lizard oh try it again better. Yo, board, thanks for that. Appreciate it. You know what? I'll take a torch with me to one, two. Sure. I like us under CR. Thanks for 31 months, like a month, month of months. Almost three years. Thanks a lot, Sunder. Appreciate you. That's a mole. Die fiend. All right, I'm going to drop the puppers down here. And I'm going to tame this turkey. Now you're taming a turkey, turkey. Oh, this doesn't go down yet. Okay. I misunderstood. Triple turkey. Oh, man. All right, for all the other daily goers, what is going on inside Turkey Town? Turkey Town has money, but nothing else. And a poisonous snake, apparently. Earn contents randomized uh, per daily. Double not real dead guy? Come on, buddy. store we got here. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Pretty good. I think just the pace to your even those extra bombs leaning me towards Volcano already. Good money though for a uh, uh, jungle attempt. My main size turkey are out of here.
Yo, FF7, thanks for five months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. All right, there is an arrow trap right there. I need to be careful of that. It's also, while we're here, rescue the kitters. In the event I did miss something over here, I can always go back up the left, but I just have a feeling we didn't. Indeed. True. Turkey saved my life. <laughs> Me and my cursed cat are out of here. I'm gonna go Volcanotite Pool. That's where I'm at right now. Feels like a volcanic kind of day to me. Okay, shrine back here, and Puppers was up top. This is very interesting. All right, I've got a plan here. It does involve using a lot of ropes, but here we are. I also need to know where the um, the prison is. We haven't seen that yet. Has to be on the other side of that lava pit, which is really tough for us to get around. We'll see. Yeah, there it is up there. I guess I can actually reach that. It's just two platforms. Okay, it's not even the hanging platforms. That is definitely a possibility. Paula is of a much higher priority, however.
Sniper Rescue Team, activate. I'm like for sure not going temple here. I'm just gonna leave this be. This is not even something I need to do. I'll have to uh, kill Vlad in the tower myself, but with pace bombs, I can just sticky him. Easy. challenge time. Let's get our hands on the bow. can also shoot Vlad with the bow for the kill. Looks like I'm using a rope then. It's fair. Okay. Down and then left. Just cape here. All right, you know what? I'll put it on. Only for a moment, but I'm here. That's what I was worried about dropping down that gap. Okay, cool. Pretty great drill, in fact. <laughs> oh man, he's helping. Nice job, bud. Nice job. Nice job. One more right there, good. Oh no, I did that to myself. We're fine though. We're fine. here. Later, Tater. That was scary.
Weren't able to farm up health there, but living's good enough for me, man. Yeah, get me out of here. I whipped the jar, uh, Dark Lady, big time. I went to go whip the, um, the crate and whipped a little bit too long. A simple air. One of many I'll make in this run, I'm sure. Alright, at 15 bombs, let's have Olmec dig the hole here. How's this look? Pretty good. Nice squeeze, but it'll do. Solid Colin putting in the execution. had to fake him out there. Nice. my bad. Okay, we're certainly going to end up going uh, tight pool here. We don't have spring shoes or gloves. Let's go.
<laughs> okay. Power pack too, neat. Machete's gotta go out here. Matic. Well then. It's not the spot to have him do that. You've been bippity bopping. Splorsh right here. So definitely feeling like no um, no shrine on this level, unless it's tucked back here, which does not appear to. Is there a fountain up here? Or is this a limited amount of water? Okay, no fountain, good. Definitely no Kali shrine. I just went at that like I had uh, gloves. Do not. Clone gun in hand. Is there anything else that can get messed up here? Not really. Let's clean this last enemy out and then clean up the lake. Yeah, that's fine. Hello, Humphead. Okay, I shouldn't have been there. Any cool fish down here? Any uncool fish down here? Just one. All right. debating if I want to clone this present or I want to try to take the clone gun with me. I kind of think I'm going to clone the present for equipment. Yeah, let's do that. Got a very adequate clone zone here, too. <laughs> oh, man, water. What a mechanic. Fair enough. He's helping. <laughs> I helped myself there. There's a shrine. I'll be. Okay, can we walk to that? Cannot. Towards by the regular exit.
Hmm. Because there might be a secondary door. There is a secondary door. Okay, so we have free skip here. Nice. Oh, I gotta find the other entrance, though. Okay, I know where it is. Does it connect up here? Awesome. Ring shoes, hell yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you, ton. That's some awesome info for other daily goers. Hold on, I didn't hear a chaining explosion. I'm scared now. Lava's still intact, so that was just a side door. All right, then. Got to put some pep in our step. I got that. We pepping, we stepping. Where the tundor was interesting. Ooh, laid. Yeah, exactly. The tundor was not low enough. It was not on the explosive barrels. We got there in the nick of time. Great info though that there's spring shoes available in the ton shop back there. That's a game changer for a Vlad's run. You know what? That's fair. Don't disagree. We'll do it again. Yeah, there's an explosion radius around the area of the door, spelled backwards. So when you bomb on uh, the front layer, it expl explodes in the back layer, and vice versa. So if the door is near the explosive barrels, it starts the chain reaction that the area below would normally. Fracked Onyx Eye. And we're off. Yoho, TC Blue. Thanks so much for 100 months of support. Absolute legend. We'll get you added to the 100 Club here in a few moments. In Apache Prime, thanks for 57, closing in on five years indeed. Thank you. ropes, I'm certainly going to go into the Yeti cave. <laughs> Got him. Get boopsin. That was a tiny penguin, not a Yeti. You're welcome.
collectible ammo. Look at all that juice. Okay, we got low single bubble again. Fair. So we seem to back whip these off here after placing a rope. That didn't work out how I thought it would, and that's fine. Get me out of here. Yeah, buddy, TZ Blue officially in that 100 club. Thank you, man. Oh, that's right. I forgot Pitcher is mid does that on those guys. Now I remember. Oh, my God. Is this for serious? Yoinks, but doinks. This is a gamble station I just saw. Oh, all right. What are we gambling for in here? Ring shoes, good to know. I see you've added a level of difficulty to the game. That's good. I accept your challenge. I'll be leaving then. Okay, I did not find my urn here. I gotta figure that out. Here it is. C-O-E is what I remember. Cracked Onyx Eye. Let's see if my noggin remembered that one correctly. Maybe. Cracked Onyx Eye. That's the one. C-O-E. Cracked Onyx Vortex. There it is right there. Later, Tater. Be back for you in a moment there, pepperonis. It just wasn't quite right. I'll wait. play with that.
Bonk. I'm out of here. All right, Sun Challenge is on 7-1. That's good info for uh, people that want to keep the clone gun going here, which we certainly had the option of. Maybe you'll want to do that because... You know you can get spring shoes. I didn't actually know that they could summon into that little block. That's good info not to break those. I was just playing around. Almost done goofed. Good thing almost doesn't count. Horseshoes, hand grenades, and Spelunky too. Thank goodness. Too close, man. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna use a rope right here. And we're off. Not dead. Caught looking at this section right here. There we go. Well, to me, this is definitely worth a bomb to skip the rest of whatever is on the right hand side. Okay, arrow trap right there. tricky section. Oh no. Okay, my arrow's still intact. Good. There we go. That's how we do it. What's in here? Please be guts. It's guts. Hell yeah.
There's just too much water here to do this the way I want to right now. Or not. We'll be patient on the rest. Get on, you oversized turkey. All right, we did it all the way from 1 1 to entering Cosmic Ocean on the daily. Feels nice. Congratulations, believers. We complete this first level, which we most certainly should. I will start a prediction for the next uh, set of Cosmic Ocean levels. All right, I'm going to come back for this mummy. He's trapped right now, so if I can just create a clean situation of the exit. This looks beautiful. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh... I'm going to use a bomb here. Fortunate find. Are there any bodies around here I can use? So nope, not a single summoner on this level. Fair. I'm just gonna drop our cape in front here and use that to block. Gonna absorb health. It's a nice start for a cosmic ocean getting to 99. Especially since we missed out on the opportunity. There was like there were six or seven vampires in Vlad's tower, but I accidentally whipped that ghost urn at the start or the top of the tower. Whoops. Yo, OST Bacon, so sorry for missing you earlier. Thanks for 52 months. Appreciate that half century plus. Yo, Sam Davers, thanks for 51, and Field Medic, thanks for 46. Hey, well, if you believe, I believe, Field Medic. This could be Colin's night for sure. Alright, we're all 99'd up. Awesome. Make sure there's nothing. No surprise on the exit. There's not. Later, Tater. I actually landed a little bit right of the door there. Almost got smushed. All right. Closing the prediction for the daily. Congratulations, option number six. Uh, all the way, Cosmic Ocean. Going to start a new prediction right now for Cosmic Ocean. Levels will be similar, though also widely vary in size uh, as well. Find the three ores, pot them, release the jelly. How far in Cosmic Ocean is the name of the 
prediction. 10 minutes on this one. I'm going to stand up stretch real fast before we start the second leg of the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look. Be back in just a moment for some more fun. Alrighty, we have returned. The official last leg of Cosmic Ocean begins right now. You know, just 93 levels to go. So with no climbing glove, it is a little bit different. We still have a lot of movement tools at our disposal. Let's figure out where the exit's at before I pop that. There it is. Let's 
a really tall level, but not very wide. Levels would be randomly generated with in the parameters of the minimum size being three wide by two deep and the maximum being seven by seven. A lot of a lot of variation. That's a really good last orb, and I'm gonna leave it as such. Pop that one last for safety. For simplicity, really. Land on the exit? No. Got bumped. Okay. Really? Why right there did it come in? right here. It's all making sense now. Assuming that already went off, but I still don't trust it. This level's not deep. Fair. Hmm. X through in any meaningful way, it does not. I'll use a bomb here. That's a that's a good one. Makes my life easier, that's for sure. It's not a bomb I want to use at 31 bombs, but look pretty good. Pretty good. Exits here. Arrows in the middle. How I remember it is the exit being over here. Is that true? Is. He mad, he running. Was that guts or was that a boomerang? That was guts. <laughs> a 
That's pretty spoopy. My man, he running mad big time. Okay, then. That was one of the spoopiest things that's ever happened to me in Neobam. Mid-level lava elevator, but I landed on the right side of the tile to not die. Whew. Please no. Also, well played game, well played. I wasn't even on my radar of possible hazards I might have to worry about. Here we go. Fear that that's orb one. I'm gonna check in the mid here real quick again. Okay, there we go. All right. Well. it was right below that scene. A little spoopy. that orb for last because just perfect pop it and go that's a mole Listen here, Spelunky. Just one guy, okay? Just one guy over here. Okay, we've got our eyes on the last orb, at least. Okay, and there's the exit right there. This is easy, then. Oh my god. I want off the ride, please. Please let me off the ride. Thank you. Don't call this guy Curse Colin for nothing. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a lot of deaths on 715 today. Had to make sure. Not even a real dead guy. Shame to dead guys everywhere. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, that, uh... Arrow trap is definitely of concern. This is where we started. Oh, hey, it's right here. I'm just going to go here and then uh, go to the right-hand side, drop off without activating the arrow trap. Later, Tater. Hey, nice clip, you little corpus. Thank you again for all of your uh, clips that you make. Appreciate all of those. Uh, peepers on the exit here before we pop this. Okay, it's restarted. So it's really got to be top right ish or directly over here. Huh. One thing I'm quite sure of is that the jelly is probably going to come in from the right hand side when I pop this. What? Where is the exit? It's got to be, like, almost dead center. Huh. Oh, here goes. Okay. Very bottom right. That was a little spoopy. I already see double arrow trap on the left-hand side, and I got beamed by an arrow trap entering the level. Let's just not use the side of the level on this one. Okay, that would have been a good last orb. Bombs and more bombs. The rebombing begins again. That's pretty cursed, man. Pretty cursed. Which is a wetter, better way up here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Tell you what, I'm gonna use a bomb here. There is like at least a dozen arrow traps we've seen so far. So far. Okay, 
Okay, he's going over the side. I gotta see this again for myself, how I'm getting back down. Okay. Was a bomb well spent. Okay, double bubble right there. That's good. That was almost bad. Ooh, all right. He's going to be one of those then. Hmm. All right. Saw that coming. Okay, I know the other two are the, on the top right, so we'll just go back up. This has been a very serious cosmic ocean. Oh, thank you, iframes. got dunked. My cape is probably in the lava now, but maybe not. Maybe not. I don't see the cape. I'm still wearing it. Awesome. Okay, not a complete catastrophe then. Alright. Savable. As good of a place to lose the Ankh as any. Gonna be a little more conscious of our health here. Maybe kill a few enemies to collect st indwelling and stuff, but... With Vlad's Cape, we should get back to tip-top pretty fast. It's a good last orb. Okay, that's two then. There's two. They generally dwelling is an okay place to try to get some uh, blood farm going. To do exactly that. Case in point.
Fair. I did that to myself. really good last orb. Let's just focus on uh, collecting some blood here from the firebugs and from the yetis. pretty huge. Waiting to hear an explosion on that one. Middle might be cursed right now. Yo, free turkey dinner? Awesome. Now you're talking. There's an orb right there, seen. That's one, uh-oh. How big a boy are you? Haven't I seen here? This level is huge. Something in here, I think. Yeah, okay. This is really like it that I haven't seen. But I have seen that. Here it is. Ooh, lad, that was a large one. sure about this exit I'm getting back to it cheesy rice my man okay there's orb three pop this and just see what happens. Yeah, okay. Not even a real dead guy. Shame to dead guys everywhere, that guy. I think I can cut in here, actually. I'm 
<laughs> okay, same area. Fair. It's gonna use a rope here just so it doesn't get bungled. cruising. There's one. Okay, there's more lava problems already. Kind of want to leave this orb for last, and I will. Here we go. Rope here. Here. Yeah, all right. That'll do. Good, more of this. All right, there's the exit right on the side. Also, not a very deep level, so this shouldn't be too complicated. Doesn't mean it won't be dangerous. Two. Three's on the other side of the exit. All right. Do I have a way in there? I do. Doing good on bombs right now. We've maintained and even gained a little bit since we've arrived in Cosmic Ocean. Hmm. Where's this last orb at, you think? It's gonna be top right-ish. Later, Tater. I would have left that for last had I recognized the exit was there.
All right, cheese sauce is going through the ceiling for the third time this Cosmic Ocean. Wow. What's happening? Did the lava get caught by something here? No, it's still dripping. And it's splitting off. Wow. Okay, then. I'll be checking the right-hand side from over here, then. Just Neobab things. Two? Uh oh. I thought that was three. There's three. above this. <laughs> oh, dude. It's been a really uh, challenging Cosmic Ocean. I'm appreciating this experience a lot. exactly remember where the exit is from here, but I'm going to go for it. There's one. bomb here. Okay, orb right there is promising as a last orb. A lot of crabs here, man. Wow.
Maybe that just is orb three. I bet it is. Listen here, you floppy fish. You flipped your last flop, you son of a gun. Yo, Phoenix Rising, thanks for 31 months. Thanks so much for that continuation. Cheers. He stole a live bomb. That's tough, dude. Don't do that. I'm gonna borrow Boomerang for a minute. Boomerang allows us to access the blood inside enemies a lot faster. You're not wearing any shoes. What I'm learning right now is this is like an absurdly large jungle, so I need to drop this boomerang and just get down to business. Already at two minutes and I have no idea on this last orb. Only thing I'm sure of is this jungle is massive. Okay, so I haven't seen to the left here, I guess. Except for we kind of have. Okay, there's an orb right there. That might be the last orb. Get me out of here. I'm gonna figure out where the exit is before I pop these, because we're cruising right now. right there then I see going on there yo have a good night crystal thanks for tuning in it's the exit right here it is what have i done
Oh, that's what I did. Cool. That was not an appropriate way to do that exit, but we winged it and we survived. Wasn't even scared. Okay, I was a little scared. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yo, Private Poodles, thanks for making it official with Prime. Much appreciation. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Thank you. I thought I could step on the sorceress from there. I guess not. That's a bombing. Okay, orb right there near the exit. Double orb right there. I don't remember if I've got one already or not. All right, with that landing there, let's just go ahead and bomb this. There's Crocoman. What's up, dude? That's one, two. Oh. There's still poison spit coming in on this level. I mean, I do see that the Krokoman's now in the exit, which is uh, sketchy. Okay, here's the last orb. I'm just going to use a few bombs here to make this safer for myself. And we're going to figure out how to get to the exit in a moment. Let's clean this up. You're not dead yet? Why not? Why not? Okay, the Krokoman filtered through. That's good. Get me out of here. Woo! Hey there, Harry Fairy John. Thanks so much for 28 months. Enjoy your continued lurk. Appreciate you. Very cool Friday stream. We got a nice, uh... That a weekend stream coming up. It'll be a stream this Saturday and Sunday as well. That's how that's how far ahead I am right now. Oh yeah. It's like a nightmare uh jetpack level. Okay. It's true, I wasn't ready. Should have left that one. Never mind. Yeah, give me more of these levels, game. I like those. I like those a lot.
All right, I'm going to bomb here. That's going to be orb three. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, good, more of this. All right, for my own sanity, I'm going to do this one. Okay, there's double bubble poison spit right there. That's a great orb three, going to leave it as such. More poison spit. There's a um, lizard going through the edge, which is not not great. Awesome last orb. Makes me not want to use the edge because him falling down can uh, break all of the arrow traps. Seems like he stopped midair. That's interesting. It doesn't usually happen. I'm gonna simply try to avoid using the middle area. Okay, good to know. Exactly know where the exit is. I'd like to. Bottom right then or top right? Oh yeah, okay. Top right it is. the exact opposite of what I wanted to do there. Fair enough. You know best, Spelunky. You know best. Okay, good last orb because the exit's here. Check the exit. Okay, nothing on it. Great. Okay, great last orb here. Gonna eat this one. Okay. Is this somehow orb three already? I don't think so. Yeah, I know. It was Orb 1. Alright. Now we cut back in for the exit.
fine. Okay. That was an experimental whip. Took my risk. I got burned. This is three right here? I hope so. Oh no, we're fine. That was pretty spoopy. All right, here at the halfway point, I'm just going to take a short uh, breather. Pretty intense set of levels there. A lot of things happened. We'll be back in just a moment for some more fun. Just going to cool off for a second and uh, hit this last leg.
All right, we have returned. The final leg of Cosmic Ocean begins right now. It's happening. Win, lose, or draw. This is it. Okay. Okay. So this level is super small. So the orb should be over here somewhere. Or this is orb two and three. That works too. We cruising. Oh god. Okay, there's a little bit of a lava problem. There's a little more of a lava problem now. Doesn't actually look like it's gonna be uh, too bad. I mean, it doesn't look good. It'd be worse. Could be worse. Seems like it's uh, dilapidating right about that point. There's two. I'm going to rope up here real quick. It's a satisfying noise. Oh my god. Okay, if the orb's not there, then it is bottom left. Bottom left. Get me out of here, man. This cosmic ocean is ridiculous. I tell you, less experience, me, like my first, I don't know, 150 times in the cosmic ocean, I would have been dead like two dozen times over already this run. So many spelunkity quality moments happening. Okay, hold up. Let's be patient on this one. I don't have a good reading. It's quite uh, crowded in here. There it is. 
As this deserves a clean and oh my goodness i got bippity boppin twice i'm all sticky oh man That's exactly why I just took a moment there. Wanted to make sure the exit was cool. It wasn't. Rushing into that one, just popping the third orb and going for the exit. Done. End of run. Okay, well there's lava on two sides of this so far. You've piqued my interest. Uh-huh. This is the easiest way into the orb. I see another orb down here. This level is a weirdin, dude. I'd rather pop this one last. I am so glad that Cosmic Ocean exists as an optional challenge in this game. Mm. What a mode. I've done a lot of things in video games in my lifetime, and I've been here on the site for 11 years, playing a lot of different things, and a lot of different challenges. Completing Cosmic Ocean for the first time. Easily, easily the best uh, feeling in game I've ever had in my entire life. So good. Every single time in Cosmic Ocean, something challenging and dynamic happens, something goes wrong, some things go right. It's a beautiful experience. There's nothing quite like it. Mega spoopy, all right. What a toss. Yep, I died on 798 my first time before 799. That was fun. First time getting to Cosmic Ocean was just out of this world, and every time since then, still been an absolutely amazing feeling of gratification and accomplishment. Because what a mode this is. I didn't quite bonk him. I'm gonna throw a bomb here. Jump. That was really cool. I've never done a toss like that with Vlad's cape. It just uh, occurred to me that maybe I should try that. Now I know.
Fair enough. It's fine. Ooh. I honestly wasn't very cheesed when I lost on 798 because it's like <laughs> the victory is imminent. You can do that. There's zero question if you're going to make it or not. It's certainly a moment, though. It was an emotion. We did get it very shortly after that, too. A couple runs, I think. There it is. Yeah, and I, got, I built like a big structure with ropes to get to the exit and then uh, got bungled. Move this so it doesn't release the water. Water is noisy. And noise is not a good thing to have extra of in Cosmic Ocean. I'm gonna take a look at the exit. Why not? Any arrow trap shenanigans? Nope. Cool. Hmm. Oh, oh, man, I misread that. Fair enough. Fair enough. 761 it is. What a crazy Cosmic Ocean. Uh, a couple notes for that daily for everybody. Um, pretty good vlogs. I get spring shoes uh, at ton on the onk skip level of tide pool. Uh, also spring shoes again at Madam Tuss, I think. No, not Madam Tuss at a gambling shop. Sun Challenge is on 7-1 if you want to bring the clone gun there. All right, that was a fun one. Uh, Colin did very well considering what that cosmic ocean was. Tons of Neobabs in very scary situations. Well, alas, that is going to conclude our show today. Thank you for the great time, wonderful company, and awesome conversation. We'll be back and at it again tomorrow in the afternoon. Hope to see you there. Thanks for all the wonderful support on all of your conversation today. It was awesome. See you again soon.